Hey, big money. How's it going this evening? You're good. Thanks, Shorty. Going good. How am I doing? Ah, I'm doing fine. No complaints. How many bales we got? We probably got enough bales. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. That's a long year. Yeah. We, we could probably just keep... We'll bail some more. You can always sell them. Yeah, we can always sell them. Yep, true. Every day above ground is a good day. <laughs> that is very true. Very, very true. Very true. Every day you're above ground, doing good. <clears throat> so we're on the prairie map tonight. I'm over in this section down here. It's where I'm currently at. There's a fell. I gotta change the screen over here so I can see this. There we go. Oop, I left a big, big bubble there where you work out <laughs> yeah it's just a little weed problem the AI didn't take care of the field I just bought it from them I need the straw and then I'll sell it back to them I need the straw for the cattle test all that out you join a little bit all right Swiss I'll have a little bit more to do probably then too, because right now I've just got this oat field to finish. Um, and then I gotta haul these bales up north to the cow area. Game stops compiling shaders so I can get stop skipping. Yeah, I don't I don't really need the oats. I just need the straw. We'll get one of those auto loader round bale wagon deweys from the base game equipment and I'll get my little telehandler and I'll stack some bales in the barn. Once we get this combined off.
Oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing that other thing on my screen. Oh, could be another big pile of straw here for you, Phil. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I gotta get my other... Get it. Missing my other screen here that I'm used to seeing. That one. Nope, not that one. Yeah, we finally got him back. The... That one. There he is. <laughs> now I should be good. I didn't get a chance to download uh, JHG's PC version combine yet. I don't know if anybody has in chat. They're any good or not? They're good? Okay. Yeah, I didn't get home from work early enough to get them downloaded so I can get them in here to play around with them, test them tonight. So I'm still using the older versions. I hate to say it, Phil, but I might have a small beet field to harvest tonight. Yeah, no worries. I'll be able to use the fun stuff, Enjoy. though. Yeah. I, I need to get that Enjoy. field. Yeah. You enjoy doing them? <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. always enjoyed killing them. Yeah, field uh, 10 up there is beets. And I want to switch that over to alfalfa once we get that harvested. That's a nice little alfalfa field for next to the cow barn there, so. Just how the crop fell, and then the field 11 can be plowed under its cotton. Not gonna do any cotton. I know the bales for it, because I've already tested that. By using the dev tool to drop a cotton bale in the, in the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Robert wants to see the fun stuff? Yeah. It, it, I got to take care of the bales first, and then the only, then it's basically going to have to skip forward a day, and that's when those beets should be ready, if I believe. I think they're on the final growth state. Nope, two days worth. They're still light green, so those aren't going to come for two month, two days. That's going to put a crunch on my hay field. I won't get to be able to get a cutting off yet this year. That sucks. But that's what it is. So we might not have to do beats tonight. Because I thought they were ready, but they're not. Yeah. Because some, some beets you can actually, depending on when they get planted, come September you can start digging them. But those ones look to be like they're going to be October beets. They're still two growth states away yet. Uh, KJ, KJ, I am not playing with viewers tonight. 
Uh, I am on my new map that's not been released to all platforms, so um, I just have my, I guess you'd call it Discord buddies in here right now, playing and testing and helping out. No more beats for you tonight? That's okay, Swiss. I, I don't think there will be anyways. Uh, unless I can get through two months worth of stuff, but... I think my soybeans are probably going to be... Yeah, maybe the soybeans are going to be later, too. Is there... Boy, the, the AI did not do a good job of getting stuff planted right. Oop, that's going to go in cab. Come on, computer. Yeah, I hate cab work. Get out of cab. <laughs> I cannot stand being in a cab. That was a big last time. Yeah, that's because it was... Probably wouldn't do it again now that... Yeah, it does still do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot it, moving. I like being on the outside. It. it does it, yeah, it does it when I go into cab view. Yeah, it does it when you tap vehicles as well, I've noticed. Oh, does it? In what, yeah, in multiplayer, uh, when you tap it, what's name, it lags it on you. Yeah. Hey, Need for Speed, how's it going? <clears throat> oh, Swiss, do you have the AGI pack, the free DLC? I do have that in here as well. But I don't have any paid DLC stuff in here. But I have the free one. Just because I like that bin system that has the dryer on it. It's a nice, nice little compact bin system that has pretty good capacity. Be nice if that dryer works. What is the rules? Uh, my about section on my channel there will give you the chat rules and you should have read them when you first clicked on chat it should tell you the rules too if that's what you're asking uh let's see i'm done with this field i am not gonna try and cart this down the road i'm gonna have to get my header cart no way i'm making that of course where's my bean field 16 yeah we'll just put it here in the farmyard for now no sense driving that down there yet. Just kind of jump across the road here. I did not see the rules. CG Tuna, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh, may go to the about section on my channel. And there should be a heading for chat rules. Basically, just don't be a doink and you'll be fine. Uh, let's see, we need a little... Da, 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 da. Well, we might as get my beat tractor right away, too. Do, 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 do. We won't put triples on it yet, though. Uh, let's see, I think it, this is the new style, yeah. I go this way. Or ten. Gotta have the big dog for beats. Don't need triples, we'll run doubles. Fenders, no. Three point hitch. No, we don't need that. Front weight we do need. GPS, eh, it's just cool to have. Display logo, of course. License plate, no. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Oh, exclamation point rules. Hmm. That might be a good thing to add, huh, Red Dirt? Although it's, you know, pretty obvious. But yeah, I could make a chat command that does that. I 
Man, we are in we are just in masses tonight. <laughs> Check. Yeah, yeah. I don't have I don't have a rule command. I mean, <laughs> it might be a good idea. Uh, uh, let's see, bail loader. That should have. This is the round bail one, right? That's what you're looking at. Yeah, that's the round bail one. Does that take the big round bails? I hope. If not, this is gonna be a really long process. Oh, oh yeah. So you're at the oh yeah. Yep, it takes 180s. Good. We'll lease that because I don't need to own that one forever. Doing pretty good, CG. Tuna, doing pretty good. How about yourself? So I'll start collecting them. Or are you almost, are you actually done, aren't you? Okay. I'm done, yeah. Yeah, that, the yes. baler, when you're done, park the baler here at the store. If you want to grab that round bale trailer and start grabbing them, I'll get me, uh, I'll get this over here to my silo and not get hit by a car, hopefully. And then I'll, uh, I'll run my telehandler up to the, up there and I'll stack as you bring them to me. Yeah, I do get a pretty good lurk command though, Red Dirt. It, it took me a minute to think of something clever. So I do have a lurk command in the in my chat thing now. <laughs> I have to test it later. <laughs> All good need for yeah, it's all good need for speed. It's all good. Just don't be a doink, cowboys. I'll introduce you to the. I'll probably introduce you to the uh, purple ape first if you annoy me. Then, if it continues, you'll have to meet pur the purple monkey. Because I just don't deal with shenanigans. Oh, I should turn my truck off. That's a lot of fuel. That's wasting. I love that truck barn. All right, I gotta get me a telly. Oh, uh, let's see. What kind of telly do we want? Oh, the normal one. Gotta go with JCB. And we gotta go with the cool tires. Which were those ones, I believe. Yes. Construction tire. We also have license plate. No, we don't put license plates on tellies. That I might as well buy and keep. And we need some tools. Oh, da, 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 da. That's this section. Tele tools. Yeah, there's that bill fork. Yeah, we'll use this one. I usually use that one. Buy that one back. And we might as well take a bucket too, just because. Should have some corn silage to do too, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta get clever on this one again. Oh, what am I, yes, I usually use this first. Carry the bucket with me. Gotta be centered better. Come on, get underneath of it. Oh, I had it. Well, I know if I just push it against the fence, I'll be able to get underneath of it.
Hey, fast flyer. That was good. That came out for that not long ago. It was pretty nice. Yeah, just shove it against the fence. Yep. <laughs> what the fence is for? Now I gotta be careful because this. The the only problem with this map, and that's not really a problem. It's it's just kind of an annoyance thing. Is there's a lot of traffic. There's only two roads that have traffic, so the normal spawning of traffic is on just two roads. So there's quite a bit. But this would be a good view of the map here, because I gotta go all the way down here, then all the way over to those red barns. That's where my cattle are. But we have ditches. We have house. I have a car behind me, I hear it. Yeah, that corn's ready to chop. We can chop corn tonight. I think I own that field. Yeah. So that's all one field still. From all the way down there at that barn. All the way up here yet. That's all one field. Right up here is where it ends. Yeah, so from way down there to way up here. <laughs> that that's, is that's yeah. one that's one field. Field six. And there's a ditch in the center, which is going to annoy a lot of people, but how it is in real life. Uh, not tonight, Redneck. Uh, this map ain't been uh, fully made public. It's just for my private group right now. Uh, I'm going to be uploading it to Giants come uh, January. Uh, then after it comes out to all platforms, and yeah, there's no problem. There's the animal trigger dealership there. There's also a bail cell point there too. There's also a bail cell point at the, oh, don't turn too fast. I'll lose my bucket. Yeah, shoot. Well, we might just have to push it the rest of the way there. Oh, I wish you could flip the cars over. guys honking at me behind me. I wish we could flip cars over like we could in their very, very first games, early games. Just pick him up and flip him on his lid. Yep, he's honking at me again. You're lucky, buddy. Uh, we're pretty close. Maybe I'll just go and uh, come back and get it. gonna catch that road and I'm gonna go flying oh crap there's a pole coming not good yeah what do you think about that you could just sit there we're close enough I'll be back <laughs> that guy's gonna get pissed. <laughs> That's my little beet field, but it's not gonna be ready tonight. But there's another ditch that goes that way to the south. Back and get my bucket. 
see how big of a lineup do we have of cars piled up behind it. Huge. I'm just gonna call it plastic. You don't know? I can't get it? Oh, you're talking about the uh, beet harvester, Gordy? It's working. Hey, is that Swiss? It's a Swiss. That's a Swiss? Why, oh, Swiss? Yeah, that's a Swiss. Hello. Hi, Swiss. Hi, Swiss. Hello. I'm pissing the traffic off on the map. <laughs> I left my bucket in the middle of the road. Um, <laughs> There's not too many cars. I figured there'd be a lot more. This could get interesting because this is upside down, so... Let's try not to flip over here, Taylor. Let's try to match the bucket. Oh, this is so gonna be ugly. This stream is like 20 seconds behind. Yep. Yeah, there's a delay on stream. Oh, I'm scared to do this. I see the ditch in my future. Where is it not connecting? Oh, good. It connects way up here? Really? Holy cow. This might be as mad as I thought. There we go. Is, is the voice is just too... It's not in the stream, is it? Um, I don't, I think, I don't remember if Discord's recording into stream or not. So I know not to say hey, something. Hey, hey, Phil, say something and let yeah, chat, no. yeah, can you hear Phil in chat, or is it just me in chat? I hear you. Hi, chat. Oh, wait and see. Oh, I think I heard my, I think I heard me. You hear me, Taylor? Yes, we can hear everybody. You can hear everybody? Okay. Yeah. Who's, who, who's this idiot holding up all the traffic? It doesn't matter. I mean, if it... I guess if you don't want your voice recorded, I can, uh... I can turn you down in Discord. But then I won't hear you either, so... Oh, yeah. I hear myself. <clears throat> oh, hey, Bales! Yay! Where do you want them? Um, you can put them anywhere. Like, around the barn here, because that's where I'm going to put them inside the barn. Yeah. And if you're really good, you could just put them in the barn, then I won't have to stack them. <laughs> see, I'll see if I can back up. <laughs> I hope you'll be there since they lost. Damn it, you got working except for the unload, but the fill effects of the beats, I don't. Okay, yeah, the fill effects is. That one's tough. Um. I really don't have a good way of telling you a good way to do it. Um. Well, that barn is just tall enough, ain't it? Yeah. Because when you tip that, it's going to be... Well, that's a fun... That makes oh. sense. And if you get it that close, I can probably push him in. Oh, I see that. That 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 is getting you there. Here, let me uh, let me just uh. Are you over it? Okay. Over it. Get a little bit of caught on that lip there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Put them there. That'll work. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't clip into the roof. Uh, this could be close. Wow. It's almost like I designed it for that height. Yeah. Oh, one of the guys just fell off. Yeah, I seen the one fell off. That's okay. I'm gonna restack them anyways in the round in there, so. Yeah. But 
Oh yeah, that's gonna work perfectly. I can do three at a time that way. Nice. Sweet. How many more are there? Four more loads? Um, I took 24. And I cleared one, almost one line. Oh, okay. At the bottom of the field. Turn off the beacon, I'm gonna go nuts here. Ooh. Let's see if I can pass the Red Dirt Driving Academy. I might have already failed that with my bucket in the middle of the road, though. <laughs> hey, Farmer Gaz! Can't get beats to show. Don't know what the code is. I got dirt particles from... For the falling part of the harvester, but the effects on the chain and soil chunks, it's not, not that right. Okay. Doing pretty good, Farmer Gaz. Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Um. It's been so long since I did that one. It should, for the most part, the particles should transfer, or when you convert it. I think they're just called a little differently, otherwise they're... Brian, him with a raid. Thank you for raiding. How's it going, buddy? Oh, that's a wall. That's another wall. Uh, Leo, can you give a shout out to Farmer Gaz? He's been playing the Michigan map and stuff, so I appreciate if you could do that for me. Red Dirt too, because he's in here. Might as well give him a shout out too, because you know he's my boss of the team, stream team. So start hitting some of these guys up. <laughs> Don't lie there. <laughs> I love the American bail ramp. So cool. I gotta get these done so Phil comes back. He's got a place to put new ones. Hey, Farmer Pierce. <laughs> sure, he did it. <laughs> yeah, the stars are yours on the blue and all the way around. Nice, Gordy. Sometimes, Brian, I'm kind of zoning. Oh, no worries, Jordy. No worries at all. America. That's right. America.
Taylor, how are the bales like that wrapped? Uh, it's a default in my maps. Uh, Frank Muth and the Michigan map, Michigan Farms, have this as a default. Whenever you do straw, dry grass, and dry alfalfa, or grass hay, uh, alfalfa hay, you'll get the this bale wrap. If you do wet bales, wet grass, wet hay, uh, they are not going to have it on there. And the reason I didn't put it on those ones is because if you're making wet bales, usually you're going to wrap them make silage bales out of so putting the flag on it's kind of pointless because you won't see it it'll be just a white plastic wrap bale so it's only on the dry bales that you'll have it on oh this ain't gonna work with my little oh it might work if i pick it right i should be able to get it squeeze it in there i just got an idea make me want to sing a song. <laughs> oh, not that button. Not that button. One of these buttons make... There you go. Just downloading um, one from the mod hub that you have. But also, if it said something, it's not available. Uh, Which one's not available? I'll tell you in a moment when this is finished. As okay. soon as I go back, it stops. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, wait. This is done. That bell's not playing nice with the other ones. There we go. Not too bad for a keyboard, huh? Did I pass? <laughs> Did I pass the Red Dirt Driving Academy? <laughs> I'm doing this with the keyboard. Is that, is that extra points? Uh, I did not have a chance to message six Pierce um, on that issue. I had to work late tonight. By the time I got home, I was getting stuff ready to go streaming. So I'll have to message him later. Not in the rafters. <laughs> I don't know if I dare put another set on there. I think I gotta build that across yet, otherwise it's just gonna get I think the weight's gonna make the bottom section roll out. It's kinda look like deja vu that one time I tried this and I put that next set above them and it did just they just went rolling downhill. Oop, that's a sidewall. Oh, now I gotta get this one up back on its, uh, its hinder. Come here. Robert, thank you for the sub. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much.
You mean that one time at mail camp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I need some more bales. Bales back to you. <laughs> Talk about that anymore. Did him with the straw, but not the alfalfa. Yeah. Oh, no worries. You don't have to be sorry. You're late, Logan. If you want, Phil, you can just put them in the driveway. Just turn yourself yeah. 180 out towards the driveway or out towards the road, and then drop them. Then I can just pick them and yeah. turn and put them in. Is there about, what, three more left? Two more left? One bio. Oh, only one bale left? Yeah. Shoot. That's not gonna be enough for winter. <laughs> well, we might have to. We yeah. might. We just might have to buy some straw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good right there. You can drop them. I'll put them in. Um, okay, I. I don't have. It says unavailable on red a John Deere 1775 NT 2022. And that's in red. It says unavailable. And then in white, it says unavailable. It's the main date gold 5 flex roller. Huh. That wouldn't, did you just download it tonight? Yeah. That's weird. Um, I had updated it because I had turned this. I had what you gave us before, but it's a few months old, so that you might have changed some stuff. Um, yeah. I wonder if it's something older and it's not an older version. I don't know. Um, mm, like if Giants wants an update, don't do it. Yeah, if Giants wants an update, like if you're on the mod no, thing, it, it's not even going to let me do anything. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look. Um, I saved, I think I saved all the watch. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't made any changes. I haven't made any changes to any mods in quite some time because I've been working on the maps. So they should all still be the same. Because Phil just downloaded that whole thing and he got in, so that's what I'm kind of just puzzled. Yeah. And he was fresh start because he just got his, you know, his PC, so. Huh. I mean, Deco rollers and like, yeah, I see it. I'm gonna drag it over and see. Oh, just chop that. Oh. Uh, Robert, uh, those deer, uh, that tractor is set up for beets, so they're on 22 inch spacing, so they're not on 30 inch wide, wide space, they're on, uh, 22s for beets, because I run that 8R with triples on the archway, is what my go-to beet tractor is, and then the doubles, or the, uh, the doubles all the way around is usually my topper tractor, when I'm playing with the PC stuff. Councils, I use the big Holmer, self-propelled. It's just easier, and well, it's because it's council friendly. These the 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 harvester and topper are too big of a file for councils. It had to be remodeled, and that's out of my realm of knowledge. Freaking outdoors. Well, that's a goofy name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. What's that, Phil? 
and dumb down a bit to require uh, to read giants not requiring to the console release yeah yeah it's like just, I can't remember how many kilobit kilobyte size is too big but yeah, yeah. It's, it needs to be remodeled and it has to get the you know the triangles and polys and stuff down farther to get it first can go to yeah. council that's you know that's a blender thing and that's not my realm um i there are some guys that i've seen put triples on 28 inch rows uh they'll run triples uh on an 8r variant like that um it's not too common because that's really putting the tires out when you're talking triples now um that's you yeah, know it's really putting them out there a ways but they are done properly because i have seen on a 22 inch spacing there's not enough axle on the John Deere's to put a triple on the outside so you have to use what's called the, the spacer um, just get this over here do, 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 do. what's up what is S600 S800 S600 S800 Those are combines, I think. But that, those are still the same as they've always been for me, unless you've updated to JHGs, because I don't have his yet. I have not updated to his. Are you sure? Yeah. Phil downloaded that whole pack in there, and he's he, he's able to get in. I've not updated. I've not downloaded or uploaded anything new in I there. Even, I don't even see a file name that says... Because that's the only one I'm missing. Oh, I am way the, over. What the heck is going on here? S, uh, S600, S800, did you say, Keeper? Yes. It's the Wilma Spreaders. Oh, yes. No, this is a 700 Wilmer? There's this... That's oh, there's the, eight, the 800, yeah, the 800, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the little spreader. Yeah. Yep. But I ain't changed that in Eon, so that should I, be the same. I know I have that one. Maybe, maybe you updated it since? Mm-mm. Okay, I've, I've, I've not updated anything in that pack since before this map even was a thing. We're about to find it out. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be active in the coming days. New viewer, awesome gameplay. Well, thanks. Freaking outdoors. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by. This is why I leave modding to the pros. <laughs> yeah, Robert. Shorty's lurking. He's going to go take his cow for a walk. We'll see you when you get back, Shorty. Copy that the other day, put it into my single player folder, and I cut it instead of copying it. Now, what am I missing? I I dragged one over, and now um, it's saying a whole bunch of stuff is unavailable. Creek freestall. Oh, wow. Well. Big red one.
Sent you a Discord message. All right, hang on a second, JJ. I'll take a look here. Oh, Leo's got one. That looks like it's it. Got your message, Leo. Thank you for the heads up. Sounds good, JJ. Uh, let me get you some information, eh? See how I, I, I'm talking your language, eh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> let me get the, uh, let me get that, uh, thing for you there. Uh, copy, and, uh, da, 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 da. Where is the... There. There you go, sir. <laughs> One <No>. bail. <laughs> One bail, I'll fill. Yeah. There's J Man. Wouldn't believe it, would you? Yeah. All that way for one mail. <laughs> we should, Look at them skinny yeah. little we tires. Sh we should have just sold it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, JJ. There, there's, it's a it's a big Michigan thing. We say A a lot in Michigan. A lot of people do. That in Minnesota. Minnesota's really big on the A. They that in Southland as well. Did they? Oh, it yeah. fell over. Boo. <laughs> Southland is where I'm from. I'm well, that went pretty well. I mean, so far we're we're doing good. We didn't have a bail catastrophe yet. Of course, I'm not done yet, so. What could happen? No. Then I'd probably just leave them and just say, "Well, I'll use them up through the winter." <laughs> two more, just two more. That barn is so. This barn here is Crooked Creek's freestyle barn. I took his barn and I added the Lily Vector to it because I'm tired of mixing my own feed. I just have the robot do it for me now. I just make sure the robot's kitchen is full. So, I have to reach out to him yet to see if he'll allow me to, uh, because I have it built into the 4X map for Frank Move, and I have to see if he'll let me release it in my map. I'll give him credit, of course, but, uh, I haven't reached out to him yet because the map is still quite a ways off yet, so, and I can take it out pretty easily if he doesn't let me have it, allow me to do it so but that's his barn I did not build that barn whatsoever I just made the Lily work for it or work with it the uh, Lily vector robot maker or mixer I also have it turned up so that way it will keep up with 300 cattle um Otherwise, if you if you use the just the base game functions that are in that one barn, it won't keep up with them. So I've made it so it will keep up. And I still laugh because that, that the robot's actually not even feeding nothing. It's just an animation. The feed is done automatically. The robot's just simply an animation. Uh, that trailer, Phil, can be taken back um, yep. to the store. We'll just trade it back in because we won't need it because I won't have hay this year. Yeah, I was just making this. I think the next thing we're going to do is get chopping stuff ready. Chop some corn in that massive field. <laughs> I don't think yeah. we need to chop all of it. If we chop one... Like the way that one's sitting. If we chop just uh, one silage or one one of my pits here full, mm -hmm. that'll be plenty because I can, with my hay field, once I got enough bales, I can start chopping that and make silage out of that too, or haylage, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But we only need to fill up the one bunk.
I believe that field is harvestable. It looks like it is, so that's what I'm going to go off of. If you're doing it first, I'll it is. Yeah, uh, there are the same collectibles on here, too. Minnesota resident here. <laughs> Six Wheelin, he deserves a shout out. Give Mr. Six Wheelin a shout out for us. Rough Rider Brother, congrats. Thank you very much. Uh, Six, uh, I was alerted today if you're still here. I didn't see how long this message was here. I was stacking bales, so I apologize. But I heard you had an issue with planting grass on the Michigan farm map. Can you confirm or deny or, you know, inform me what was going on by chance? Because. I can't replicate it when it's a contract because I could play a game for hours and hours until I finally get one of those contracts to spawn. So I was just wondering, how come it didn't print it out, JJ? Oh, there it is. I see it now. I got it. Leo did it. Oh, you're welcome, Six. Yep, I seen. Uh, so we need a chopper, and I think we're just gonna lease that too because I'm not in the mood to have an owned one. And we're not using that. <laughs> we're gonna, that would take us forever. I'll go with a New Holland. Get the fat boy tires. Lease that. We need a header. Might as well go big. Which I think is that one. Yeah, that's the big boy header. That one. The issue was Fields is wanting us to plant grass. Gave us the message that the selected crop is not correct for the current contract. So all so so grass. Contracts fail. Huh. Interesting, Six. Field 24 is a good example. Okay. I'll have to take a look at that and see what could be causing that. You're not. Are you using any contract mods, modifiers that are doing anything for contracts like more contracts or simple contracts or anything like that or are you just running base game no no mod type thing with dealing with contracts Engine sound like it's got a, a rod knock. Uh, Earth, uh, nope, nothing to do today. Uh, I'm running on the map that is not currently all platform. It's my newest map. Uh, we're gonna need another truck and trailer, I bet, huh? Let me get one of them. Bought. That I might as well own because. It just makes sense. Uh, we already got one Kentworth. Let's get my Mac. Oh, let's go with orange. And get the big motor, day cab, get rid of the mirrors, rim color. Yep, bye. And trailer. We'll go with a six, because that truck handles six is better than sevens. And we will put the beat board on it. Gotta get the smooth side box. Ah, oh, nah. We'll go with the other standard box. We'll go standard high end. I think it's that one. That one. Room color. This. It's that. Room color. Chrome. Good. Bye. Yes. Okay. All right, there's a truck and trailer here at the store too now. 
There's a lot of traffic on this map. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the holiday season. <laughs> it almost did it. I don't have a fix for the traffic yet, um, besides just turning them off. It, there's just Why a lot you... of traffic. I don't get it. We're going to Frankenwood Christmas store. <laughs> right? <laughs> So us... Okay. okay. We have contracts plus and re, re contracts plus and refresh contract. Okay. So the contracts plus is allowing because base game you can't. I don't think I've ever had a a um seeding grass contract spawn. So I'm guessing that's allowing that to happen so I'm going to have to take a look into seeing why or what's going on there might not be anything I can do um I, I'm curious if it happens on other maps too or if it's just that map this header ain't that wide what the heck it's my big Kemper head you ready And you'll notice that the corn stalks mushed down where I drove. That's in the map. What's nice about these camper heads, you can go any direction you want. And it will cut. There's JJ. Oh, run corn over. So I don't know how this 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 make it interesting, J Man. When we go north, you might get full <laughs> before I get to the end. So I can either cut you out a path, so you don't have to back up, or I guess we'll deal with it when we get to that point. Okay. I will. I will do it how we do it in the real world. Um, when you get full and we start heading that direction. Um, just let me know when you're about uh, like 85 percent. You might actually might even get full before you get to the end down here. It's hard to say. Set my cruise here. Hang on. It's not yielding very well, so it's not going to be like a buku crop of corn here. This is the first time I got a contract to plant. Yeah, it's it's weird, six. But I'll I'll do what I can to look into it and see um, if there's something I can do on my end for it. I know that the the contract scripts is locked down by giants we can't actually access that as map makers it's kind of how it is it is kind of thing but I wonder if it's if it's confusing itself with alfalfa and grass kind of thing which could be a possibility there's a lot of variables that go into play with contracts and we don't have access to the the scripts to know how they work at least I don't have access to it somebody might have figured it out by now but I haven't where is our bunk at uh bunk is see those red barns there to the north yep it's right next to the bale barn you'll see they're it's sitting in between two barns we're just gonna fill up the uh south bunk we'll leave the north one empty wait to the north yeah to the north turn turn look left oh way over there yes okay we're currently heading east for directional purposes. I give I directions by <laughs> I give directions by north, south, east, west, not left, right, reverse, forward. That's just how oh, that's always right, been. I'm going on. Okay. Ninety seven percent. There is a road that way. If you keep going that way, Brad, by that red barn there'll be a road that heads north. 
Bill, let me know when you get about 80%. I'll cut your path out so yeah, you don't have to back up. Directions are weird, man. Isn't, isn't every barn red? Valid point, Swiss. Valid point. <laughs> Take a left Ooh, at the red barn. <laughs> All 20 barns. Oh, yeah, JJ. Um, nope, hang on. Let me get you a tractor and a blade. Uh, we need... <sighs> We need this tractor. We might as well go with the big dog. Uh, we gotta go US because I'm not in the EU. I don't like Midas. I like Continental tires. Uh, we better put a weight in the back. You okay, hon? Weight in the back. Front. We need the blade mount. Three point. Uh, we don't really need a three point on this tractor. It's a pulling tractor. Get rid of the stupid license plate. Buy that tractor. Back. Then we need... Leveler. One of these. And we want... We're gonna go without the fins. It's the biggest one. 18 inch? 21 inch. That's what we want. 21 inch with the... What? Side extension, top extension. Oh, I don't have a 21 with the... Okay, I guess we're gonna get side shields. Bye. Yep. Okay. There you go. Just pick a side, pretty much. Alfalfa, maybe we can try to set it for Alfalfa and see if it accepts it. Yeah. What's that, J-Man? Just pick a side. Uh, yeah, pick whatever side and then just stick with that side. Is there corn bales for bedding in the winter time yet? Is there corn bales for bedding in the winter? No, there is no corn straw or bales on the map. We don't do that in Michigan. At least not in my area or around this area that this map's in. There's no corn bales or or um, soybean straw bales. Horrible yield. Yeah. Hey, I did not take care of this field before I bought it. <laughs> did you put um, sand jabbers in it? The harvest instead of sand jabbers. What'd you say, Phil? Did you stick sand jabbers in it? Yeah. The forager. Yeah. So that usually gives you a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah, because I am currently harvesting it early, so it's not fully matured kind of thing. 71% 71% okay yeah. we, ain't go we won't make it to the end <laughs> so what I'm gonna end up doing when you hit 80 okay so sit right here where you're at just 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 stay, stay here I should have enough pipe on me to do this nope okay follow me yep just keep following me around the corner If you run over a little bit of corn, that's life. Yeah, I'm done. That's fine. Just keep coming. That little bit of corn ain't gonna make a difference for me. And this great big field that. Yeah, don't worry about it. In this big field, that little bit of corn you ran over ain't gonna make a difference to my pocketbook. Yeah. There you go. Now you can get out. Okay. Ninety-three percent. I'm done to go. Yep, go ahead. Need 36 more mods to download. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Swiss. <laughs> I, at least I'm making the time by filing my nails. There you go. Still being productive. I am. Or warning, Phil, it's a tight corner. Try not to take out a much more crop than I've already taken out. Yep. Yeah, I'll swing those. Taking the, you talking the uh, that corner where that red barn's at over there, that by the ditch and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a tight corner. That's one of those things. I don't even think we're going to make it to the end even after this next one. We're not halfway into this field yet. You need like I don't think we're going to chop this whole field. Trucks. Well, the end's right there. Where? Way up there? By them trees? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> uh oh. The ditch goes down the middle. Okay, I got you. Wait, what's that, Swiss? I think you need about uh, 15 trucks. Right. I see what you need about that being tight, Kimo. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that, that corner's tight. That's a tight yeah. corner. Yeah. Ooh, now we're really in the red. This is really bad corn here. <laughs> I've never seen it red like that before. Is it clay? Can't you, since it's not fully grown, can't we get one application of fertilizer on it? Eh, you could, but when you look at how big the field is, I'm... <laughs> I, I, I'm I okay with it. I mean, if, if we were harvesting it for corn... I if we're, yeah, if we were harvesting it for corn, we'd, yeah, it'd be a whole different thing, but... We won't, we won't need to even harvest this whole field anyway, so... There's no way this whole field fits in that bunker. Don't believe it. What's your fill level? Uh, oh, not 35. half. 35, okay. Doesn't JJ know how to get down here? Can he see it? See, he's up in general. Uh, he might not have access, uh, Jordy. Okay. Yeah, if you could drag him down, please. Sorry about that, JJ. I gotta give you access. Let me know when you get 80%, and we'll do a, a loop de loop. Unless we make it to the end down here. That saves you from having to back up all the way. Sorry, I didn't see your typing there, uh, JJ. Oh, I should put silage additive in this too. We got a little bit more bonus. Oh well. Eighty percent? Okay. Just keep following me. I do a little bit wider corner this time, maybe help with the not running it's not over. A very wide corner. <laughs> it's okay. Running them down. Yeah, just a little ledge of it. That's how we do it when they chop corn. When you get full, they just do a loop like that, and then they have a path to go out. And I, we wait for the next one. At least for opening the field. Once you get the field open, then it doesn't matter. But I bunk, that bunker might be full by the time we get around. <laughs> Can't remember how much those bunkers hold. It's like a million liters, ain't it? 1.5 to 1.7. Mm. You, you taking it to the biogas? Uh, nope. We're taking it to the cow farm. The packet for silage. But yeah, this is this is the new map. Fields galore. <laughs> Not much wasted space. <laughs> Certainly looks like a prairie. Yep. This and it is. Tree. 
Reminds me of a real life tree near me. Yeah. That lone oak. That oak. Yep. There's. It's actually an oak tree too. That. Uh, the tree is so old and such a staple of the area that the gravel road was formed around the tree in both directions. And Silas Adam never seems to take the percentage never goes down, Gordy. I never really used used it much. Um I always forget about it. Down slow. There's a van there's a mod a mod up that you can put uh two hundred meters into the header of silage of it and it doesn't use it. But it still gives you the watch name. Isn't that cheating? As if yeah. The mod needs it needs an update. One point um seven broke it. It's a 15 meter header. Trucks, Pete, and nineteen. Yeah, yeah, the sound you mean? The sound, yeah, the sound definitely was. That sound was the same sound I had in my old that old W nine hundred Kentworth that I had was, was my favorite truck. Um, it's the, it's the same sound that nineteen had on a Pete. Yep. Yeah, it's a very common sound once with the whole Jake break and everything, too. But that was the. That truck handles the sevens really well. The eights can get kind of weird. Yep. Yeah, he's been. The, the, the eight, it's. It, it's challenging. It does definitely do better with the axles all the way up, but when the axles are all down, you have a full trailer. It will, it'll still throw the truck around a little bit. But it's a nice truck. I mean, it looks nice. I did some adjustments to it, ready to get it so it played a little nicer with the trailers, but. Oh, two trucks are coming right now. Nice. We might actually get around. There's a ditch we're gonna have to contend with when we go to the to the west. <laughs> I hear a Jake break. <laughs> Little dice out there. He didn't drive very quick back. <laughs> well, I broke my old computer out of the box today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's been... I got a... a CD, it's a two CD set of some jazz music that I've been wanting. Like, and when I left work today, I was just like, I had these jazz songs just stuck in my head. And my old computer has two CD drives. My new computer, not so much. Doesn't even have one. So I'm ripping the CDs on my old computer and then transferring them to my new. 
USB drive. Kind of cutting you a path here so you can make the corner. Yeah. I'm hoping you can make it to the ditch. Yeah, it's 52%. Oh yeah, we should be able to make it to the ditch then. Oh, and FYI, 9.30 can come and go tonight. Oh yeah? No work tomorrow? No work tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, Giggles has got off tomorrow too. I have to work. I have to work Saturday too. But only yes. only half day on Saturday till one o'clock. So I wasn't going to, but then at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? Tomorrow's Friday. I just really don't want to come in tomorrow. <laughs> so I asked if I could stay home. I'm like just wrote my name down on the list, and I'm like, see you Tuesday. Trying to run. We'll play with this and test as well. All right, JJ. Thank you for helping. I'm going to All right. Cut this corner over a little bit more. The songs is actually from the, uh, the railroad game. <laughs> Lurk away, JJ. That's my. Nice. I like the animation they got on these headers, it looks really cool. <clears throat> I said just go straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we'll make it to the where the ditch ends, but I don't think we'll get much farther than that. Are huge. It's gonna take a minute to get used to that. They don't look this big in Giants Editor, but when you actually play on them, it's like, um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I see filled. And I see filled. And I see filled. And I see tree. And I see filled. Oh, there's some red barns. And I see a few trees. 80%. Okay, we won't make it. I'm gonna cut you out a circle. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, uh, if you stay right there, I'll, uh, well, back up just a little bit. I'll see if I can. Come on, harvester, there you go. What's nice about Kemper heads? 
Just go wherever you want. So excited. There you go. That should be enough for you to turn around in. Oh, Swiss. I'm so excited. What do you got? You got what? How much? Eight. Oh, eight percent? Okay. Should I wear today? <laughs> Swiss. <laughs> Swiss gets a game first thing she does. Hmm, what kind of outfit do I want today? <laughs> Are we driving? Don Deere? <laughs> JJ left the tractor running. Must like me to pay fuel Not costs. Not know I was gonna make it or not. All right, what do I do? Um, I guess we can get another truck. Well, or she can take mine over, and I'll go pack the pile. Okay, that works too. Where are you? Um, All I see is field and sky. I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the middle of a field. If you'll, uh, Taylor, you want to tab out of the tractor and let her tab into it, and I'll be there in a minute to okay. center. Oh, do I have to pick farm, too? Yeah. So, join farm. Meantime, I'll spend some more money. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I feed the dog. Yeah, I'll go with normal. I am. Oh, oh you get sugar beet stuff. Where is everybody? I'm tabbing around through vehicles. Whoa, car! Yeah. <laughs> Cars are ruthless. There's too many of them. Hey, I picked the right color shirt. Um, I'll I put no this in my beat barn. I'll be there in a minute. Just give you a truck. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you, Gordy. Now. Hey, Grant. John Dero to the silo for Phil. Just, just let me know when you guys <laughs> get to the harvester. I'll tap back. I'm just going to move equipment, store equipment, buy equipment, get that, all that done. Bill is backing up, dropping a load up. I have to, I have to play around with me, Steven. Oh, Phil's, Phil's got the Mac, that's why. No, oh, yeah. do I not own this I, yet? He's slow. <laughs> I had to play around with me, Steven, right, settings as well. Big reset for some reason. I was having murder. Here I go. Good. Green. Who made this truck? Uh, I don't know who that truck was made from. I turned my uh, sound. That was some gnarly duels. Which one? This big 9R. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Map's looking good. Thanks, Grant. Mm -hmm. We're trying to harvest corn, or chop corn, and so far I have yet to make back one lap. Back on in here, <laughs> I think I've I I filled, what, four trucks now, and I have not even made it 
down and back yet. And I'm not even, it's not even hardly yielding that great either, so. The fields are massive. They look, they're a hell of a lot bigger on in game than they are in Giants Editor, the way they look. Oh, cars. I hate cars. Wide equipment. Oh, We're just going to go through the yard. <laughs> There's no traffic on this little road. Just the main road that has the yellow lines there's traffic on you're playing here. ooh that barely fits through the door oof I shouldn't saw I guess we can park him here in the shade. This guy, we might as well get set up. <clears throat> nope. Gotta sell that. I'll return. That's good, that's good, no finders, all this stuff should stay the same. Yes. I like the compression brake on this tractor or truck. It looks like the dealership is making your deliveries. Notice that on that blade. Uh, there's a, it's a mouse control. One of the mouse controls and makes the feet go up. Aha. Uh -huh. No, it's a controller control. Uh, yes, Grant, this map is done. Oh. I figured it out. Yep, this map is 100% complete. Uh, I plan on submitting it to Giants after the first of the year. Think we'll make it, Phil? Yeah, we should. I'm only 15%. I know what once it gets fifty percent then. Hey, really like you for me tonight. Really, 
supposed to do. I think, Swiss, if you sit at that end, we might be able to break through here. Oh, and then you broke out. 50%. Yeah, 50%? Uh, it's going to yeah. be close. It's going to be tight. Really close. How much is it going to cost to buy the whole map? Um, I don't know. I could go through the fuel prices real quick when i waiting on a truck again. Show ya. I know that some of the fields are close to a million apiece. Like the one that's right here that I'm looking at. That's on the other side of the road. That one is like a million, 1.1 million to buy. 102 acres. 80%? Yeah. Well, I think we're just going to cut through. Whether you're full or not. We're going to make it. Yeah, we will make it. 99%. <laughs> <laughs> thing for poor yields if that was on top level uh, what's the name yield and now yeah no there's no way we would make it you know. Uh, this map is mostly flat in the real world. Uh, what it was is a uh, a swamp that they've drained, and that's why there's unique ditches that, like the ditch that's up here in the middle of the field, that they had to dig all those ditches in order to drain the, the land to be able to farm it. It was all low-lying, flat marshland that they've uh, dug. Man, man-made ditches and canals to drain the land to be able to farm it. So, it is predominantly flat. I've mimicked the uh, as close as I could with the real life. I mean, there might be in real life there might be at most from the one corner to the next corner 30 foot in elevation change. Um, that would be at most. Um, if you go out to Google Earth and look up um, Alicia, A-L-I-C-I-A, -I Michigan, that is pretty close to center of this map. And you'll see if you go down to road, uh, road view and look across, it is flat as far as you can see. Oh, uh, Justin, how's it going? Oh, the forest? Oh, that big map. See, this I call this a big map because it's monstrosity fields. But, yeah, the forex, it will have some elevation changes like the original had. Um, most of that elevation and all those changes that, that are in that one are all the same. There's a little bit of smaller hills. There's the ditches, of course. Um... It'll have a little bit of variation, but it won't be like massive hills or you know, valleys and stuff like that. It's just this Michigan is, does not have those where I'm at and where that map is at either. It, it's pretty flat terrain around here. Um, you don't start getting into the hills until you get up towards north of uh, Bay City, Standish area. And you don't get into the hills until you go south below Flint-ish area. Um, then you start getting into more of the hills. But we do not have any mountains in Michigan. No rock. It's all dirt. You must be full, Swiss. Goodbye.
Good going through my old Twitch account from 2015 and up. Have on the list. Managed to get back into it. Nice. So, field prices. So, there's the map. There's your fields. So, we got one point. Oh, I was wrong. 1.3, 1 1.2, 1, 600, 1 1.1, 1, 519. That one can be resold because I'm done with that one. 588. 602, 589, 452, 6, 5, 8, 4, roughly 3. So you're probably looking at, let's see, 1, 2, 3, there's 4, 5, 6, 7, half, 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 8, 9, 10. I'd say maybe 18 million, 18 to 20 million to buy the whole map. Oh, did you spill some over the wall? No, not over the wall, but out the front of the bunker. And I can't tell if it's actually there or not because it, the render in goes so slow. And this, this blade is not picking it up. It's outside the bunker. Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, I'll get it. Well, I can get it. I got nothing else to do. I'm waiting on trucks. <clears throat> I know you had a bucket. At least until Phil tells me he made it back. About the same into the field. There he comes. So these uh, bunkers are pretty good. Too far ahead, Phil. I think. There you go. It's smashable corn stalks is just cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I do I do lots of that. Oh yeah, and a following list yeah. and a few others. Yeah, my, it must have been a while ago. I'm thinking, Justin. It's 
Huh? Must been a long time ago. <laughs> Sure. Remember, Pierce has been following for two months and a week. Glad to have you. I didn't go very straight when I cut this, did I? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is tight so, corner. Oh, yeah, there's a... Yeah, don't worry about running over crop. I no, have... I'm not. I have plenty of crop in the field. <laughs> what little bit of 10, 15 foot of crop lost for turning corners, I, I, I won't miss. I guarantee it. <laughs> These fields are huge. I should have came down the other one. How full are you, Phil? He's about... I missed all that. I'm full. <laughs> Put down oh, the okay. Put down the bottom of the harvest. Yeah, I mean... Usually I'm better at following rows, but... Yeah, well. Chuck's fast. Twelve seconds. Lightning bolt coming down the field. <laughs> Can you hear me poke too? <laughs> Love it. Six mile an hour is what I'm traveling. Twist if that helps you. Yeah, I, it changed on me here. It was at 15 or something. Kilometers, right? I got everything set for kilometers. Oh, yeah, that's right. You backwards. I don't know what... Whatever six mile an hour is in kilometers. Plan. <laughs> like, yeah, same thing. Is that bunker half full yet? It's still 419,000. Holy crap. How much does it hold? 3, 1.5, yeah. 1.7. Yeah, it's, it's like one and a half. I've only made a lap and a half. Some of those makeup bunkers. Yeah, the. <laughs> Needless to say, we won't chop this whole field. Not, I don't have a bunker big enough for that. <laughs> we'll have to harvest this and we'll have to have a grain cart because. Well, maybe not so much with this yield that I get out of this field, but whenever I do the 
the right crop for next year and actually have it fertilized and limed and all that, we'll probably need to have uh, two combines and a grain cart for sure. Yeah, once the map comes out all platforms, I'm going to do a massive corn harvest. In the daytime. Yes, in the daytime. We'll be able to harvest corn a lot faster so we can sleep through the nights. I'm full. Yep. It doesn't take long. Well, if you can just get your rear axles on that, right in the middle of that first big hump there. It's kind of a hole right behind it. So. Right about in here. Seventy five percent compacted. Hey, Brian? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna go to bed. Alrighty. All right. have, night. A, have a good night, Shorty. Hey, Tima. You too. There you go, right in there. That's good. Last night on the beet harvest, I couldn't get the truck over 50 kilometers an hour. This one's doing like 120 or something. Yeah, that one's got a lot more power. <laughs> that truck's got a little bit more power. But it's not a council-friendly truck. It's a PC-only. It's a PC-only truck.
comes a truck. Is he just getting there now? Yeah. His truck going goes half, yeah. his truck going goes half as fast as yours. Yeah. Should probably just sell that truck and upgrade to the Kentworth. A little nudge. There we go. Gosh, it feels so big he de renders himself once <laughs> he gets down the other end. The wheels in the trailer helps to back out too. Getting some bad legs here. He's <laughs> got a train horn. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> One trip on the bottle, but it's got the uh, baby shimmel horn on it. That's me.
beautiful turn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Works for me. Use one of those big mother bins on the side of the field. Yeah. Need to pull a dump cart behind me. So when I'm chopping, you guys pull alongside and just dump the dump cart in you. Yeah. That'd be cool. I got one, but I don't know if I take silage or not, or chaff. Does the mother carts, do they take chaff? I don't know if they do or not. The mother bins don't. No. Last time I looked, they did. Anyway. So there's no way out at the end of this field. I have to turn around. Yeah, yeah. There's no way we were we're make it to the end. No, but for me to drive out. Oh no! Yeah, you'd have to turn. You have to turn around. Yeah. I I already did that once. I was. Yeah. There's no. No, I missed. Okay, I'm there's a full now. Yep. Yeah. There's no exit except for behind us. Yeah, the AI owns those fields. We're all good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. It was just a hedge. A meter in. Okay. Hey, Mies, man. How's it going? Well, let's go buy some more toys. Mr. Booty! Thank you for the raid. Coming in with a party of ten. Doing pretty good, Miesman. Doing pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Booty, for the raid. Get a shout-out for Mr. Booty. Hey, Tony. Hey, Diesel Donkey. That name. Thank you very much for the raid, Mr. Booty. Is there a moderator in chat still where you can get him a shout out? Otherwise, I will. I don't think there is. No? Leo left? All right. No, Shorty left. I think JJ left. Here comes Captain Slow. Oh, there's Leo. There's Leo. Thank you, Leo. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Yeah, I am uh, playing on the new map. Should be coming out for everybody early January. Um... That's the PDA. As you see, it's massive fields. <laughs> I am very proud 
of what I was able to accomplish with this one. There is... To some, there's wasted space because there's ditches, but in my opinion, there is no wasted space for farm fields. It is <laughs> legitimate all fields. <laughs> Howdy, you wicked. Natural. Yes, I agree. That's what that's what I was attracted to Frankenmoot was the ditches because I went. This is the only map that I've been yeah. on so far. There's deep ditches that look normal. Yeah, Tony, that's right. There's 83 acres of non-farmland. That's it. <laughs> the rest is all farm field and farmland. Yep, 83 acres. Yeah, yeah. I could probably Seven squeeze... I could probably squeeze another acre or two if I wanted to, mm. but... um, I just decided that was a good even rounded number 917. We'll, we'll, we'll just run with that. <laughs> no, Wicked, this is not out yet. This is the this is my third and final all-platform map. Um, it'll be it'll be given out to or given to giants. Uh, come January one, twenty-three. I'm not gonna rush it and get it to them and hope that they release it before Christmas. I'm just going to wait till after the new year. That gives me a little bit of time to test about. things. Test things out and make sure everything's working and we don't have issues with fences or anything like that kind of thing and just give it a good once over this during the holiday season here and Tonight we're testing multiplayer and it seems to work just like any other map I've made. A quick break, I'll be right back. The biggest thing I've noticed is I can't make a lap. I can't even get halfway down the field and my trucks are full. And the the map is a lot the fields are a lot bigger when you're actually down playing on them than when you're just flying around through Giants Editor. Uh, I, that's one big thing I've noticed. They don't look this big in Giants Editor. Why the final one? I've only played one of your maps so far and I really enjoy it. Well... The, the easiest way to say it is this would be the third Michigan map I'm not sure really how many more Michigan maps we really need um, in Farm Sim. Between one of the three, it should be something you, that you will enjoy. Um, the other the other part of it is that I've kind of run into a wall with my knowledge, and that it, it's like, well, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Um, my knowledge is very somewhat limited than what others can do and to keep putting out basically a, a, a similar map same function nothing really special in my opinion to them just different layouts it, it, it comes to the point where you're just being redundant as a map builder and it's just it, it's just one of those things you kind of that's how I feel at least. I kind of I've hit the wall of I don't know what else to do. I am gonna be putting out uh, one 4x map for sure, which is expansion of Frankenmuth map. And I do have an idea for a second 4x map. I don't know if I'll get it done in this edition of the game or not. I'm basically going to take Frankmuth, Michigan Farms, and the Prairie map and stick them onto a 4x map size so each quadrant will have the map replicated in it so essentially I'll be able to play a 4x map and still play all three maps in one map the only problem with that is I don't know what to do with the fourth quadrant on a 4x map I don't know what to do with it because I don't have four maps I only have three so 
But standard maps, I mean, three is probably enough. I mean, that's kind of where I was at it. I see your point, but personally disagree. For everyone that likes your maps, a different layout is all we need. Really need that? I appreciate it, Wicked. I really do. Um. And who knows? Maybe, maybe because I am one map short for my ultimate four map and a one kind of goal, I'll have to throw something together for that fourth map. Or build it on there and export it out into a single size map. I could do that potentially as well. Um. Oh, you're full. I'm just wasting corn now. Yeah. <clears throat> Tony, we you care about your stuff, and we need better. Yeah, I know, Tony. I, I do care tremendously about everything I do. Um, I just, I'm just at that point where I just don't know what else to do, and I just, I don't know. I wish I could figure out crops so I could add edible beans to the maps or even like cucumbers or, or pickles is what we call them, the pickling cucumbers. But I just, I i can't wrap my head around their texture system for crops. I also would like to change the way the soybeans look when they're actually in harvest state so they don't have the green leaves all over them. Because that's one thing that really annoys me because me having some background in farming if i were to try to combine beans that look like they do in this game i'd be unplugging a combine 80 percent of my day because those beans the way the textures are don't go through combines especially the older combines that i'm familiar with with the uh cylinders instead of the rotors it's uh clumped up. they they will wrap the hell out of a uh a cylinder combine with with how their beans look and it just always annoyed me in this game but i can't figure out their, their texture system for the life of me it's really weird take a break surf some youtubes come back stronger yeah it, it makes sense i can probably speak for any everyone that enjoys your maps i'll download and play anything you put out well thanks wicked i appreciate it um like I said, I do have a big passion for farming. I've, I, it's, farming's been in my blood since I was just a little younger kid. Uh, I grew up on a farm. Um, and my a couple sets of my cousins still farm today, and I still actively are kind of like a hobby for me to help them out during the busy seasons. Um... But yeah, I, I I love farming. If I could have, if, if I could win the Mega Millions or Mega Trillions, because that's about what it would take, I'd have my own farm. But there's, but there's no direct descendant for me to to have a farm, and that's really the only way you get a farm nowadays is you inherit it from parents. And I have no lines that I can fall into that, so I just help my cousins out. The to uh, fill that void. <laughs> uh, General Badass, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And Scott Ben24, thank you for your follow as well, and welcome to the channel. But uh, Frank Muth map will always be my my pride and joy because that map actually maps out my cousin's farm that I help on. Um, the field layout, the, the barns and stuff, not, not at all. I mean, the one machine shed is very close, the one with the door on each end. The, well, the one here in the center of my screen above my chopper here. That one is almost an identical match to their machine shed. Um, but yeah, that, that map is almost a direct, as close as I could get it in Giant Head, or at least, of a, of their farmlands, their fields that they farm. It's scaled a little wonky because I didn't really know about scaling until I got a little bit further in on map making, but so the acreage isn't quite right, but the layout's pretty close. 
Smoke Eater just stopped in the stream to see what's going on. Well, welcome. And hey, Beast Mode, how's it going? Doing pretty good, General. How about yourself? But, yeah, farming's in my blood. And once it's in your blood, it, it don't leave. It, it just don't. <laughs> Never left me. No, it, it, it's, it's there for life. And my cousins, they have a lot of the older tractors, like the, uh, they're old Masseys, um, 1080s, 1085s, 1155s, um, 2705s. Uh, I think their newest tractor they have is an 8160 Massey. Their combines are Massey Ferguson 550s and 750s. Um, but they work. And parts are still readily available for most things, and it's, they're cheap. I mean, it's cheap equipment, because it's old, but it works. But they have... They're actually in Michigan. They were the third farm in Michigan to put in a Lily robot milker. Um, in the whole state of Michigan. They were the third farm to install one. A lot of farms have them now, but... They were the, when they were back 15 some years ago, I think it was now, they were one of the f first three farms in the whole state of Michigan to install a Lily, Lily robot milker. It's pretty cool. Ready for the weekend? You know, I, I hear you there. But yeah, as far as maps go, I'm I'm satisfied with the three. This one is gonna be, <laughs> this one's gonna go one of two ways. One, people, are, some people, are, well, I could say that's it's gonna go two ways. Some people are gonna love it, and some people are gonna be like, it's a pile of crap. And quite frankly, I really don't care, because <laughs> I've done something that I am extremely proud of. That I've took a took in a basically a thousand acre possibility and <laughs> got the most out of it um that's the pda there's a little green spot up there in the north side there's a little bit down here to the southwestern side the rest is all field and a couple roads and ditches that's the map um so those who like to farm the whole map there you go there are ditches that's going to annoy you, but I think it adds character. You know, actually, if we had, if you, if we ran right to the left here, Phil, we could run out to that road where them trees are, but he'd take yeah. three or four sections of those potatoes out, but be a little bit of a shortcut. Yeah. Uh, I do have cows. Not currently. I'm getting working towards getting cows. The, the red barn up there in the north is where my cattle will be. Dairy cows. We get, once you get the cows in, then you can't say the map's full of crap. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're supposed to jump your cars, Tony? Um... See what you do is you, you, you chop a bunch of the silage and then you build a ramp and then by the time you get from one end of this field to the other end you should be able to build up quite a bit of speed because it's literally that section down there where you see the brown all the way to that section. So you should be able to get plenty of speed to ramp a, a pile of silage. And there's there'll be plenty of silage. I mean I won't even be able to use all this field in my bunk. There's no way this whole field would fit in my bunker. You like big field maps, Wicked? Well, 
Uh, once this truck is full, and if the other one's not back yet, I'll, I'll go through the the acreage list there again, too, so you can kind of see it. Nope, oh, truck's back. That one truck, that truck goes quick. But uh, the field that's in front of me that's brown, that's 102 acres. It goes from that road over there where those silos are, all the way over to that tree. And then all the way to the trees in front of me. Um, that is the biggest field in the map. Uh, it's 102 acres. The second biggest field is like is 98 acres. <laughs> Followed by a train horn. Pop, did he stop? Speaking of train horn, there there is no train in the map. Uh, wasn't room. I decided that uh, the acreage is more beneficial than a beneficial than a train, in this map. So, this map does not come with a train. This map also does not come with a bunch of placed uh, factories. Again, the reason for that is 917 acres. You can't put factories down if you want to maximize the fields. So, it does have three sell points, and you will be able to sell everything that is base game on those three sell points. Um, so, if you, so, if you have factories down and you make you know whatever boards or furniture or clothing the farmer market will buy everything um, so you can sell everything on the map that comes base game that I made sure of don't care for train any yeah I know right so there's 18 fields total Um, there is traffic on two of the roads, the north, south, east, west road, the L-shaped road is what I call them, which is basically that very northern, there's a northern road up there, and then that road between 1, 4, 1, 2, and 3, that road that stretches down there, that road, all the dotted line roads have traffic, all the painted roads or the, um, non-lined roads do not have traffic on them and I did that kind of on purpose so you had some ease of getting around the map with big equipment not having to worry about traffic hitting you all the time um, but you can always just turn traffic off too and I probably will because the traffic is insane hey wolf how's it going Are there one or two small ones to start on and build up? Uh, yes, uh, Wicked. So, new farmer mode. You will start with the little plot there across the... Well, I'll show you in the other map when I get Swiss full here. It's easier to show you on the Bible land map. But you will start with one big field, which is the field I am in. in or I am in. But I have separated it out to three crops. I put three crops in this one field. So it's not just one giant cornfield. It's actually uh, a wheat field, a soybean field, and a cornfield. Um, which is a lot how they farm these fields. Um, they will put what looks like one giant field. They'll actually split it up into multiple fields. Um, Mainly because of how the ditches are laid out, they do that. And you'll see why once you start playing it. it. It makes sense to farm it that way, where you put like this section will be corn, the section on the other side of the ditch is beans. So you, you got to kind of plan it out so when you're harvesting, when crops come up for harvest, you harvest the ones that would harvest first to give you access to the second crops kind of thing. And that's how they really farm these in, in Michigan in this area so here's the actual I guess better version of the PDA there's all your farm fields this house plots not viable that house is not viable this plots are not viable 
Why, you should ask? Because I love putting houses that are not viable on the maps. And there's real houses there, so i got to mimic the real thing. This area has been altered. It's, this actually is all one big field down here. But that's where I got my beet pilers, grain cell point, and then the farmer market. Actually, I can just chop down here and show you that. So here's the farmer market. Oop. So you got your normal sell point. You got bales, products, grain. And that's the farmer market. Behind the farmer market, there is a wood sell point, even though there is no forestry. Again, I went with the impression that the map should be able to sell everything that comes base game. So I've done that. Um, so if you did plant trees, you do have a place you can sell them. And all you do is just, just normal. You drop your logs here, come over here to this trigger, trigger it, and then they sell. Then you got the bilers back there, two of them. And then you have the grain silo here for your normal grain cell points and stuff. Like, it's like on all the maps. The AI does work. Uh, they will come here and sell and return. I made sure all that works. It took me a little bit of finesse to get that figured out because they kept trying to drive through the fence. So then I just said, screw it. I put the driveway here and that fixed everything because I was having them come through over here and loop back around, but the AI, AI likes to have a mind their own. They like to take the shortest route to anywhere, even though they can't, you know, I had to take this chunk of fence out for them to get through here. I don't know why that is, but that's just how they act. And then up here. Can I visit? Yeah. Up here is the second area that you can buy. This barn is not in there. That's my private PC mod. But that barn's in here, of course. These are the in-game bunkers. Veil barn. Um. But yeah, this is the other section plot that you can buy and build a farm up here. Or there is the one that is what I call the main farm. Which is right across the road from the dealer. Which is convenient, because you can buy equipment, drive it across the road, and you're all set to go. That's the dealership. That's the main farm. Right across the road. So. <clears throat> Makes it very convenient. The flag is lit at night. I did that on this one. I'm going to probably do that on the other ones, but it doesn't warrant a, a full update yet. But one one of the oversights that I, when I was building this one, I was like, oh, there should be a light on the American flag at night. So these have spotlights now it's to shine nice on the flag. Yep, so the flag is lit at nighttime. The sign dealership is lit. Um, all the collectibles. There is one special collectible, which I am not giving what it is. I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to even go near it uh, because it's very, very cool. <laughs> and I don't think anybody's done that one yet either. But when you find it, you'll have a laugh because it's kind of hilarious what I did. Um, it was a shorty idea, and then uh, I said, you know what, That's that sounds like a really fun idea, so I did it. So there is one unique collectible that the other maps don't have on it <clears throat> that's on this map, and you'll have to find it. Now, granted, Giants will put a little dot by it, probably, but still, when you see it, it it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. But that's the GSI pack. But yeah, all the cell points are in the lower left corner, uh, below field 18. The two dots up north, there's a bale cell point here. You can sell bales here, and you can sell bales at the farmer market. And then uh, you have your cattle and animal triggers to buy and sell animals. There's a collectible. And <clears throat> there's a animal collectible in each one of the pens. Just because it's cool. And I was starting to run out of places to put animal or all the collectibles, so I had to get creative. Ditches, collectible. 
They all have water in it. You can place fences. <laughs> Made sure of that one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, as you see, this traffic is very... This road is very busy. Um, these poles, again, that's going to not make people happy, but it's real life. They have collision on them. You can't... You have to farm around them. I did put a little weed patch around them like this so it's, you don't have to like try to farm right up next to the pole. Um, and that, that'll render in-game. I've done all the um, field dimensions to mark out that square so this will always be here uh, around each pole. But yeah, the poles have collision. But there's quite a bit of space between the road and the, the pole so you shouldn't have too much trouble, you know, harvesting or planting and working around the poles it shouldn't be that big of a trouble but i know some people don't like it but it is what it is uh ditches do not freeze i haven't figured out how to do an ice plane yet and make it look normal and not disappear once you exit the game and come back in that's the problem i've been having is that i can get them to freeze and have an ice plane but as soon as you leave and come back, it's not there anymore. Until you roll through the next month or whatever time it is. I don't know if that's just a giant's bug with seasonal items or if it's something I'm not doing correct. But um, I can get them to freeze, but as soon as you exit the game and come back or save and come back, it's not froze anymore. It's just water. So I have the same problem with the snowmen. They do the same thing. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's just the way Giants seasonal items is programmed. I, I couldn't tell you. So I've, I've, I've X'd that and left that out so it's just the water. Oh, I should probably get back to work, huh? <laughs> that lets J-Man catch up a little bit. Yep. Right now I'm getting horrible yields because these fields were owned by AI and they didn't take care of them, of course. That's just how it works. And we all know that by now. But even with the yield in red, which is like 50%, I can't make one lap with a truck. They're full. It takes two trucks to get from one end to the other, roughly, on a 50% yield. So, yeah, <laughs> field field's big. It's gonna it's gonna play like a large map. Um, you'll definitely have tons of stuff to do. That's for sure, unless you use cheater equipment, which is what I call it with high capacities, high speeds, and stuff. Then, then yeah, you probably take a. Uh, hour instead of two days on a field. <laughs> you got, the, got the beet harvester stuck on the, in the canal. That's not good. I I do have to show you the canal on this map. Uh, this once I get these two trucks full, I'll go venture on that side of the map and show you. There is a large canal, which is the, actually there in real life. It was uh dug back in the 1900s to help with draining the land and it actually is <clears throat> the best way to describe this chunk of land is like New Orleans where you have the levees and you have the canals that run to a pump house and then it pumps the canals out into the giant lake well here there's a river that they pump out to which then flows out into the the Bay of or Saginaw Bay of Michigan into the lakes um but it's the same concept they have a big giant pump house that all these ditches and canals flow to and during the wet season they'll run that pump to pump out the canals to keep this from flooding otherwise it would flood every year if they didn't do that Map looks really good. Well, thanks, Wicked. 
Yes, Glancy, Glancy boy, he fixed that problem on Snowville. Okay, M M. I will have to reach out to him and see what he knows. Because I, for the life of me, cannot figure that part out. I really would like to implement flooding, but again, that's the same issue is that as soon as it starts raining, it's like instant flood, and it's not realistic at all. It's cool, but it things don't flood as soon as it starts raining. It, it takes a little bit of rain, and in 19, we had a script called Rain Dance, which was perfect. It would slowly creep up, slowly recede. The, the instant flood and instant not flood or dry is just I don't like the way that renders and it it doesn't add to my opinion to the map it just makes it look weird when it rains they change any of that in the new DLC because they have puddles now oh do they have puddles yeah see the, the yeah with raindrops hitting them the, the problem is is that the DLC is locked for us mappers. We can't access anything off of it. It's still the same thing, though. It's, is it? Instant? Yeah, you know, instant rain and instant puddles. Okay. I haven't seen it rain yet on that map. Yeah. I mean, I it's mean, a cool... Than, like, for puddles, it kind of makes sense. I mean, puddles ain't as, as drastic as, like, half the map floods after it just starts raining. Um, like, puddles make sense. That, that would be pretty cool. But to make the map flood, it, it's just, it just doesn't look right when it instantly floods and instantly recedes. Uh, Taylor, you love the, okay, Wolf said you love the look of the map, thank you. Um, can you, can you the grain silo, what do you mean beast? What do you mean by that? Can you grain silo? <laughs> and I'm sorry if I missed some of your guys' um, messages. I'll go through here in a minute here and recover some of these because once I get talking about something, I kind of have a bad tendency to just keep talking and not listen and not, not read chat. <laughs> so I apologize. Gonna show the grain silo? Okay. You want the cell, the cell point beast mode? The cell, the grain silo cell point? Or that grain silo that's at the farm, which is just the AGI grain, grain silo building. That's the free DLC pack from Giants. You do what do I do? <laughs> <coughs> Let's see here. Wolf, uh, are fences possible for putting along the ditches, Michigan farms, and Frankmuth maps as well? Uh, Michigan, you can. Frankmuth, the way the, the the water planes are done, you can't put a ditch right next or a fence right next to the ditch um, because of the water plane is in the way. The collision of it, it interacts with the fence collision, and it won't allow you to put them there. But on Michigan, I fixed that problem when I fixed the fences. I just haven't gone back and fixed Frankmuth because to do a, a, a small update like that just really doesn't make any sense. Um, to have to, you know, do it, re-upload it, and then everybody get bent out of shape because there's another update kind of thing for a fence. I mean, um... If I could figure out adding more crops, that'd be something that I can work in. I have a list of things that I have kind of put on the back burner for fixes, or not really fixes, but just updates. But I tend to not put an update unless there's some volume to the update on a map. I don't like just updating a map for, say, oh, I added a added a tree here. Oh, needs an update. I, I don't do that. That's just redundantly not constructive my updates usually consist of a few different things that brings a little bit more joy to the map or life to a map or ease of use of the map 
<clears throat> That's how I run. How dare I miss chat messages? <laughs> <clears throat> There's a field across from the farm that belonged to a local farmer. It had quite the low spot in it. Would fill with water and freeze. Is there skating rink? Nice, Farmer Pierce. That would be pretty cool. Speaking of Frank, move if I haven't updated yet, I want to find the door to nowhere. <laughs> yes, the door to nowhere is by the the um. It's right across the road from the gas station. Uh, you can only see it when you're looking to the east, which would be towards the closest edge of the map that you'd be facing. That's, you can't see it in any other direction, but that direction. And it's literally just a door that's sitting out in the open. That's the door to nowhere that I removed. <laughs> Take you to the Wizard of Oz. What was that, Phil? Take you to the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I called it the door to nowhere because it literally goes nowhere. It's just a, a floating door object. Nivium, thank you for the raid. Welcome to your viewers. How is your stream? Hope all is well. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, hop over to... Oh, let me get a tractor. Be a lot quicker. I will show you the big canal. You thought ditches were big on... Frank Muth thought ditches were big on Michigan farms? Mm -mm. I went all out on this map. But it doesn't really come into play because it's... It's on the very far border. Um... I'm stuck in the silence. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. <laughs> Robert, oh, I gotta go into the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Nivium, um, I don't know if you're having a problem with your raiding button, but that's odd. Holy cow, you guys really killed some soybeans on this corner. Yeah, I'm stuck again. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So that's that's my soybean field. <laughs> it's big. I told you it was a tight corner. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's a tight corner. It is a tight corner. There's not there much I can do because of how it's laid out. It just it just sucks. It's not a good corner. Blame the county, Rose yeah. Crew. Yep, I blame the county. You can blame the map maker too, I don't care. Thank you, county, certainly. I blame giants. <laughs> so, this side of the map, there's a, uh, what I would call the canal. That is a ditch. <laughs> that is in their real life. That is a, that is one of the canals that they hand dug, or machine dug eventually. Uh, to help drain the land. And this is the, the road on top of the dike. To keep it from flooding the whole farmland. Because it's all flat. One of these dikes break, the whole thing floods. Until they can get it all pumped back out. But It's sort of like a mini river, really. But it's actually a, it's actually a, a ditch. It does not have a river name to it. But this, this dike road, I guess you can call it, because it's on top of the dike here for the, keep the water back. This goes around the outside of the map. On the west, or on the east and south side. And we got 1,037,000. Nivium, yes, I did get your raid. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But you can go down here a little ways. I think the border is like right in there. Right there is the border for the map. You can see how my wheel's up on top of it. But it, the ditch isn't so bad that you can't get out of. I mean, if you go in the ditch, you should be able to get yourself back out. 
As long as it's not like the beet harvester. What'd you say, J Man? So we're a million thirty seven thousand. Million thirty seven? Okay, we'll go to like million five and we'll call it good. We'll get a million five in there. Oh no? Is it pretty full? Maybe yeah, I should tab full. maybe I should tab to it. Hang on. Let me tab over there. Oh crap. Missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Missed it. Uh, there you go. So. Oh yeah, you guys got this pretty full, don't you? Think we can fit two more trucks? Oh my oh, god. We, we can probably do at least four more. What we got for- oh wow, you got a 91% capacity. Oh wow, nice. Kicking ass. Yeah, let's put, uh... Let's put at least two- let's put at least two more trucks in and then we'll see what we got and then... We might have to... Call her quits. Oh yeah, I'll drive truck. I just hopped in, so keep yeah, going. Just hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. You sleeping, Phil? No, I'm making this, making this thing. It's okay. Oh. I got enough. I got enough horses under this hood. I can push you and pull my trailer. <laughs> this truck has got power. Challenge it's accepted. <laughs> Yeah, I can just. The power. I keep pushing Jamin or Jamin's. Uh, when I uh. Take John Deere back. Yeah, no worries, <laughs> Niv. No worries, Niv. But yeah, I got it. I got your aid. Thank you very much for it. Um. But yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's one thing I'll, I'll be waiting to see is pictures of people. Uh, getting their. Whatever stuck in that ditch, but. Hopefully giants will allow this map to go through because I'm kind of concerned that they're going to say, um, all I did was make it a giant field. There's no originality. We're not passing this. It is on my back mind that they could say, well, mm, no. <laughs> I would hope they wouldn't do that, but I don't know. I, I have a there's little bit of a... Out, there's other maps out there that's nothing but a big flat field. Yeah. It's a very big ditch, Wolf. Yeah, it is. One hell of a ditch. Yeah, it is. Um, digging them is not fun. I I am tired of digging ditches. That's kind of why the other the other reason that I'm kind of. This is the third all platform map, and I'm gonna kind of just let it ride for a while and enjoy playing the game and finish off my 4x map for Frank Move kind of thing. Um, I'm just really tired of digging ditches. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at it, but... Ugh. Tired of digging ditches. <laughs> yeah, so it's got more to be given to her. So yeah. yeah, she took over my job. <laughs> you, you can have it back. I'm oh, just, we're good. You're up talking uh, away and visiting. <laughs> I'm a bad boss. I just randomly just jump out and wander around the map. There's three people waiting for a, for a, <laughs> someone to run, run, drive the forager. Walker, well, yeah, but Walker's map is... That's a celebrity map. I mean, those guys... Well, I have to wait and see. I, I, I kind of am somewhat reserved that they might give me a little bit of hassle with it because it's so plain. But at the same front, maybe it won't make a difference. I mean, there's a lot of maps that are just all grass, too, I guess, really, when you think about it. So there's not even fields in it. you got to make your own fields. Do you want to harvest again? Or, I mean... No, I'm good, Swiss. Orange? I'm good. Okay. I can drive truck. This is my third night driving truck, so... Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, I can understand. You can drive Harvester. But this truck is fast, so... Yes, so. this is a... This is a very nice truck. Uh... I've... I've... i fixed it up to work with the trailer, so it works pretty decent. I had to give it a little bit more suspension, because my... These trailers set up a little higher than what that truck started at, so... I had to give it just a tad bit more suspension lift. It needs some gauges inside, though. There's a map on the Mod Hub that has fields that are over 100 plus acres. 
Oh, well, good. I, I'm trying to be unique with this one because of how mass the old area it is. And it is this way in real life. I mean, this isn't an exact duplicate layout. It's just, in real life, this is three times bigger than what you see in game. Um, because it's the, the map is set at one third actual size scale. So all these fields are actually three times bigger than this in real life. So that 100 acre field is actually a 300 acre field. This 1,000 acre chunk here is actually 3,000 acres in real world. But it was, it would have been like four fields had I made it, kept it at scale. And that's not much fun. Doesn't have a lot of variety when you do it that way. Giants are like cops I've dealt with in my younger years. Can't have fun without them getting involved. Yeah. But well, once we get the silage done, we'll fast forward a day and then we should be in the soybean harvest. Or even corn harvest. <laughs> but the map does have the destructible corn stalks, but I've, it's my own re and rendered edited version of it. Um, because when you chop corn, it actually will look like this then. Wherever you round down, the corns are, no, stalks are flattened out. And then when you harvest it, it has Giants' typical harvesting texture, and the corn stalks will flatten out too. Oh, yeah, I'm full Swiss. Um, I didn't like the one that was, that was out released. I don't know who did it now. Because whether you chopped it or you combi combined it, it would be the same ground texture. And when you chop corn, it should look like this. And when you combine corn it should look you know there should be trash on the ground so I opted to alter that texture slightly to get it to look like this instead of how it would would have looked it just it didn't look right to me when you chop corn it looks like the combine did it uh, yes Robert that only works with you have to have crop destruction on otherwise it will not do it That's the tight corner. That one's... There's not much I can do. I mean... It's just this... This this road came... Actually ended up being a little narrower than I thought it was. Again, it's a Giants... Editor thing where it looks bigger in Giants Editor than it actually is. And by the time I had... Come out and looked at it in game, it was like too far, too late. And This tree is actually there in real life. It's an old oak tree. This is a dirt gravel road in real life along the ditch here. Uh, there is collectibles in the ditches. However, most of the ditches that are in between fields are, you can flatten them if you own the both chunks of land. But I would caution you to double check and triple check that you've got all the collectibles out of the ditches before you do that. Otherwise you will bury the collectibles and you can't get them. Just a, a heads up warning on that. So if you don't like ditches, you can remove them, but make sure you get the collectibles out if you want to get the collectibles. Yeah, I think this might be enough. Take the chopper. We, we don't need another one. We should have enough here with this. We will call that good. I'll at least get a nice clean edge here so it all gets in the bunker. Yeah, I'll try and get up here a little ways if I can. This truck's got a little bit more oomph. 
Try and try and get over there on the barn side there. The shed side, not the hay barn side. Oop. Oop, oop. Let me get out of the way. I'm afraid to dump too close because I don't want to dump over the side of it. Say that's all we're doing. Yeah, that's all we need, but this bunker's full. Are you filling the other bunker? Uh, not with, not with corn. Oh. Then so I'm going to leave, yeah, okay. then I'm, I'm going to leave empty for when I start doing, uh, alfalfa. So where should I put the forager? Uh, forager can go back to the store because that's on lease. Oh. Trucks can be left at the main farm down Cross the road from the uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, dealership. And once we get kind of things organized here, we'll advance the day ahead and see what we have to harvest. Somebody ran over some sugar beets. <laughs> There's some sugar beets missing. When I had, <laughs> when I had glitches, or lagging. Ah, uh, yeah, that's okay, Swiss. It happens. I did put the new power poles in. That's one thing that is I plan on doing with the other maps is changing out the power poles for the FS22 power poles. Uh, just because they look a little better. But again, that's, you know, there's just a, a, a piled list that I'm working on to once it gets to be a point where it would kind of, in my mind, warrants to put through an update, um, then I'll do it. And that stuff, changing objects and stuff like that, won't need a new save. There's nothing that I can see on the maps currently that would require me to do a new save or you guys to do a new save with what I have in mind of changing things and updating so that's good news on that front but the stores or the dealership is conveniently located right across the road from the main farm. Uh, Robert, these are my east dumps. Um, that is my pack that I've had since... Oh, FS15. I got the original trailer from Test Farms, um, which was unlimited modding, and myself and a couple of the guys here in the group have helped me with rendering different uh, frame lengths, and so I can put different axles on it. They did a lot of the blender stuff work, modeling work, and then gave me all the pieces and I put it all together, and that's where they are now. They are very similar to Carl Farms pack, um, but they are not his pack. They are my own pack. Mine has two box kind box styles on it. I have a I have a post side, which is your traditional old style trailer, and then I have the smooth side. Don't mind. This mode. Let me look. Yeah, bye guys. Got to bed. Alrighty, beast. I, I got it now. Thanks for stopping in. Sorry I didn't catch it sooner. Um. You have yourself a good night. Uh, let's see the same. Don't mind the dishes. That house, Donnie, is uh, Elk Creek Modding House. That is not in the expansion. That is uh. A PC only a uh, house made by Elk Creek. 
Same thing with that oh, the barn, the shed. That's his uh, garage pack. Garage too. Right, you'll have to. Um, oh yeah, I have to return it. I can't do it. Yep. Your cars don't get run over. All right, you let us know, J-Man, when you get that packed in. Or if you need any help with it, let me know. That tractor and blade can come back. Oop, that tractor's out in La La Land. If somebody wants to grab that tractor and blade, that 9R up there by J-Man, that needs to come back to the store to sell that blade off. I got to work on that blade some more. It's not quite... It, it works good for leveling dirt piles, but it does not work good for leveling silage. We've... Uh, you like the W9? I found the W9, um, who was that? That gave me... <laughs> uh, was, it was it JJ? No, the W9 I found on Mod Hub, there was a Pete that uh, um, that I was messing around with that I couldn't quite get the way I wanted it yet, and that was from oh, who was that? Tony maybe? Tony Miff sent me a bunch of links to ones that he had. I think I'm not 100% sure. I like to post sides IRL. We have one smooth side and I hate it only because we polish it. Yeah. So most of the fields have a, you know, traditional culvert entrance and exit. Similar to Frankmuth. If you played Frankmuth or Michigan, it's going to be very similar setup. That's, that's how I do it, what I do, when I do it. But that's all one big field there. We wish got Peter Belton can't wear them. I know. I uh, I wish. I wish council could have a lot of things. That way I could just keep playing crossplay. But we I plan on having at least one crossplay game, and then I'll have my PC game that I'll play on probably this map. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But I will always try to have at least one game, one save, one server that it'll be crossplay. Once we get this third map out, then it's going to be more towards a uh, three nights a week, one night on each map. And one of those map will be a crossplay evening kind of thing. But we haven't decided as a team yet what we want to do, what map. Because J-Man has the server. We just got to figure out what we want to do. Played on the Michigan map for a couple hours earlier. Nice. How'd you like it? I don't think I'm heavy enough, J-Man, to pack it down. Oh, I'll get it. Don't worry. And <laughs> Bruce Sticker left to take their cow for a walk. We'll see you soon, buddy. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, I sat here for an hour last night or night before thinking, man, I really could use alert command. That's really unique. <laughs> Sad that it took me an hour to come up with that, but it did. You guys must be in all the equipment up there. Can't tap, do you? Should be a tractor and route. Yep, there it is. Oh, let's go shopping. I need a plow. Nope, that's not my shopping menu. Let's come back to the auto station. I really like this one now because it's big. 
But my disc has always been a fan favorite. And these guys are just way too small for this map. I should probably take them out. That's about as bad as a 3 meter plow on a 10 acre field. Oh, it's not much bigger than this 4.2 4 meter. That would take you forever on these fields. Kind of thinking this one. The chisel plow. Love Michigan Farms Wolf. That's awesome. It is a nice map. It's cool seeing it in 22. Like I've said in past streams, I mean, that was... That is where I learned everything, or started my venturing mapping. Was with that map. But it was always PC only, and... This year was time to do something different. I see a tractor. Uh, Phil, you want to bring that back here? We're going to put our front weight on it. Or we could just take it to the farm. There's a trigger there for that, too. Sell that. Uh, let's see, Thatcher, we don't need a three points, so that could be left as a trailer. Rest of that's good. Yeah. There, now we got a front weight. How are we looking, J-Man? You got her? Almost there. Alright. Swiss is playing with the dog. There's something wrong with the dog, it's shaking. I think we need to take it to the vet. Now, it is shaking. It's doing something weird stuff. It's probably just lag. Poor <laughs> <laughs> puppy. <What? laughs> Getting to love Frank Booth as well. Nice. Was 60 hours into Michigan, then finally updated it Tuesday on accident, then had a house in a field that wasn't there before the update. Yep, yeah, Robert. That house is there for a reason, because of the fence, um, uh, fence array placeholder, I guess you'd call it. Um, yeah, I had... Tap over to the JCB and see what you think. It's covered. Okay. I had to put the I had to put that house and the uh, unbuyable land there. Otherwise, you were stuck with field 15 for life when you bought it because you couldn't sell it because of the whole fence thing. Looks good, Jay man. That's gonna be lots of feed for the cattle. What's cool because I just gotta take a elevator or a, um one of belt systems and belt system across here and into here, and it will auto feed the kitchen. Yeah. Quite handy. Yep. This guy, me here, don't, me no uh, mix feed anymore. I use robotic systems mix feed. That's the vector. <laughs> I'm I'm done doing feed mixing. Let the vector do it. All right, so we good. We can transfer through to the next day then, right? As I see it, because I can't plant anything because I still got crops in the field this is cotton which will be tilled under anyway because I'm not doing cotton all right let me tab back to the house or get over to the house I will hit the sleep trigger we'll see what we have to harvest the next day I'm thinking maybe soybeans but we might have to go one more day Contact. Eight o'clock. Sounds good. Everybody must agree. There we go. Yeah, Robert. 
I, I, I fixed it to do that because I know some people sometimes sell land and I didn't want to get a gazillion messages about not being able to sell farmland because there's a placeable on it still. Stuck in the door, stuck in the door. So I, I went ahead and just fixed it for good so it's not going to be an issue anytime. This map, uh, it does the spawn on an edge of a field so I had to put a little bit wider driveway in to cover it. So that's why when I go to the map here and I go to Bible Land, there's this section right here is not viable. That's because that's where that fence holder placeholder spawns. So have you bought if you would have bought field seven, you wouldn't have been able to sell it had I not done this. Um just one of those this things. Yeah, it's it's a mod standalone mod now. So as long as it's PC, no, it's not crossplay. It's PC only. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do we have? Beets are not ready. Soybeans are not ready. They got lots of weeds. We're gonna have to go one more day. It looks like. Because I have no crops ready. We're going to have a crap ton of crops to harvest in like a day. Corn will, be, with the 50 footers. corn will be ready. Yeah, we're going to go one more day here and we'll probably be able to harvest corn. But these beans are getting really late. I don't know if those are going to get ready in time. That's a little concerning. Eh, just hit it. We'll see what happens. Yep. Yeah, we'll hit it. See what happens. Might have to just plow it all under. Contact. Yeah, beats and swings at the same time. Alright. So I guess we might be getting to beats tonight. These guys can harvest corn. Because they probably harvest enough beets in their life. So I can pack up the beets. Until I need a truck driver. All right, what do we got? Corn looks like it's ready. Beets are ready. Soybeans are not. What do we got for crop calendar? That should be... Okay. So they got planted late. They got planted in May then. So we'll be able to harvest them in November. Which is pretty late for soybeans. And yeah, sugar beets right on time. So, yeah, we got corn and sugar beets. What do we want? Corn. <laughs> Go corn. <laughs> Who wants to drive combine? Who wants to drive grain cart? Me. Okay, I'll get a grain cart grain for us. Cart. Oh, what kind of grain cart? Oh, not them. That's all beat equipment. Um, Elmer's or Demko? Demko. Yeah, Demko. Demko? Yeah, hold more. Wheels or tracks? Do they have rubber on them? On what, the wheels? <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> well, they're both got rubber. <laughs> Track. Green, red, gray, blue. Not blue, Green. I can't stand blue. Green? Okay. Green. Match the tractors. And you want tracks? Or no tracks. Ah. Track? Okay. That's the store. We have, we have a 9R. Oh, this one right here? Yep. <clears throat> oh, we need a corn head, don't we? That would probably be helpful. We'll go with the 16 row corn folding. Okay, corn head's at the store. And I'll go do my favorite thing. <clears throat> While you guys tackle that. Then I'll come back and help when I get that done. Doesn't the count work truck work with the East trailers? Uh, the... Uh, yeah, the W900? That worked with the East ones. Oop, this is my tractor I need.
Ah, screw it. I'll just drag out this way. That's why they put doors on both sides of the sheds. Oop, that was a door. That was the light. There's the door trigger. Off the lights. Thank you. Oop. Forgot about that. Come on. <laughs> Need to make those doors a little wider. Try to hook up to the 5 axle and it doesn't? Hmm. I guess I didn't try it with the five. I did it with the six, seven, and eight. Yeah, I kind of need a <laughs> right wolf. Kind of got to have a corn head <laughs> to harvest corn with. Lifts the five off the ground. Hmm. Well, I guess you can't use it then for right now, Dallas. I'll have to look at that. Might not be able to just because of how the short the five axle is. Might not work. Oh, there's a bean field that's ready. Who owns that field? Hold up. How much is that field? We could probably buy that one. Oh, that's the big one. Oh no, that's the little one. Are those both beans? Oh, they're both beans. Yeah, we got some more beans to harvest too when we're ready to go. I can buy that one. I'm gonna buy that one too. There, we got lots to do now. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's harvested. That was soy groom, I think. Oh, we've also got to see some plant fields ready. No, the the plate does not slide, Dallas. Uh, that's rigid. I could make it slide pretty easily, but it does not currently. See, Phil, you've got a little faster truck now. Yep. Yeah, I went for this one instead. This time. We needed those in the beet harvest. I got this one turned up a little bit. 11 mile an hour. <laughs> it's a little fast. slow that one down a few mile an hour but it works for now I don't really care about the cotton because that's getting plowed under anyways Yes, it is a topper. This is how the uh, traditional beet farming harvesting works. Uh, you have a topper and the, oh, ditch, and then you have a uh, a pole type harvester that will come by and lift them out, dig them out. It's how the smaller beet farmers operate. The bigger ones have usually the self-propelled. 
Ropas or Holmers. Yeah, got rocks turned on. Did you... Oh, I got rocks turned on? Yeah. Nope. Can't have it. <laughs> rocks, rocks, rocks. Where's the rocks? Field stones off. Can't handle rocks. I've done enough rock picking the first year of the game. I'm done. Not no more. Trucks by 82 Studio have sliding fifth wheels. It's, they're handy. That way you can slide the fifth wheel on them so you don't have collision problems and whatnot. Yeah, don't need lights. I guess y'all are wanting me to drive the combine, huh? Yeah, I figured you three can handle that and I'll do this because they're, you know, I'm never ever tired of beats, but I know you guys are getting tired of them. We got a lot more beats to go anyway, so once I get some of these, corn. once they get some of these topped off, then I'll come join and help. It's me. Coming through. Drive truck or whatever we need. Hey, I got the, I got the wheels somewhat, they're a little off yet, but there's, Giants does not like Des three place decimals for crop widths, so I kind of had to fudge it. <laughs> Elms, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And I guess if, start. if you really want to see it, I'll I'll get out the archway harvester. And, but just bear in mind, it is a. It's not a mod for councils. It's my own private conversion of it. Um, it. It is what it is. I'm not going to get involved in the drama of releasing other people's stuff. But I will do some harvesting with it if you wish to see it. If you don't, I'll help them with corn. You're welcome. I'm from the UK. I played on PS5. I'm on the same maps you are on. Nice, Elms. Well, I know you're not on this map, but the other two that I've made, I can for sure. This one ain't out to council yet. That'll be after the first of the year. This one will go to councils. Or at least the testing and see what the giant says. Wish you could play, but no Wi Fi yet. Oh, that's a bugger, Dallas. Well, here's, you'll have a spot no matter what. As always, you've been here forever and ever and ever. That's for sure. Once you get your Wi-Fi and stuff set up, you'll have a spot. It's in the reserve. I don't know how I'm going to split this field. That's the troublesome because it's such an oddball shape. Probably north and south. How's the corn? Good on here. Yeah, the lighting is from such sneak. I take no credit for that. The uh, his. Nice looks his relight pack or modification is just amazing. It really, really makes every map that it's implemented on just shine above the rest, in my opinion. It, it is crazy how realistic the lighting is now with that modification. Does that include the haze? Yes. It's the whole environment package. Huh? Um. The whole thing, the lighting, the haze, the, the weathering, the weather patterns, the clouds kind of thing, it's all within that relight environmental modification. It's a, it's a standalone mod, but you can implement it into the map for councils, and that's what I've done, and that's what a lot of map, mappers are doing now. They're implementing it directly into the map, so it doesn't require a special mod. You can get the game to call the files it needs to. Normally you would not drive over the beats like this, but you'd actually get the harvester and harvest out the headlands.
But I'm just trying to get enough top that I can get the field opened. Boys, split them with the angle as a headland? That would make sense, too. Actually, that would make a lot more sense. We could, we'll split it that way. Missed a spot? Yeah. That's crop insurance adjustments. I might need to borrow a truck if I may. That orange one. <laughs> Girls in the green one. <laughs> so I must be kicking him out. That's fine. Kidding. I'll take the orange one. <laughs> He's locked the door. You're not getting in. Money is oh wow, 155 million on Michigan. Nice. This is where it gets weird because you can't really tell where the row would be because of the whole grid system for crops on the game. You just have to fudge it. Uh, no. This map has not been sent anywhere except for my internal testers, uh, friends, family type thing. Um, Giants has not seen it. Anything like that. It's just, it resides on my Mega Drive. Uh, I don't plan on sending it in till after the holidays, just because they're they're busy enough, and with them going out for two weeks anyways, it'd be a mad rush to get this in and hopefully out by then, and I don't want to per se rush it through. I'd rather take my time on it, give it a good testing, make sure everything is working as it's supposed to with base game you know equipment mods whatever you want to say um before i let it go out to giants and because uh, we're we're sitting at like what two weeks before they go on break anyways so that that doesn't give a lot of time and it's just rushed then at that point i'd rather not do that when you rush things that's when things get buggered up all right that's probably enough of them topped up nice now but yeah these things have these i don't know if i can get down close enough but you can kind of see the little the little flails in there those spin around at really high speeds and that's what beats the leaves off the top of the beats some people run scalpers on the back of them it's not very common in Michigan to have scalpers. Um, I don't know what the reason is for it. Um, why we don't do it and you see a lot of other people running scalpers. I don't know what the, why Michigan don't, doesn't do it, but a lot of, a lot of people run scalpers on the back to make the beat, take the little bit of leftover green on, off the top of the beat. Why that is, I couldn't tell you. This is the orange truck I get. So yeah, here's the here's the texture with the corn stalk for the combine. Yeah, the combine traditional giant's texture looks like, you know, it is what it is, but you can at least see the corn stalks then. So, I like I don't necessarily like this texture for the the um combine corn, but I like this texture for chopped corn. And with the other texture that comes with the, the, um, 
destructible corn stalks, um, you can't have both unless you do it this way. So that's why I did it that way. <clears throat> I'm taking the orange truck. Okay. Is this um, corn going into the silo? Yes. Until the silo gets full, <laughs> then we can sell the rest. Yep. <clears throat> I just want to make sure first. Yep. Yep. Put her in the silo. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna. Yep, that's correct, Wolf. Yep. Gonna wait. Uh, light the topper. Yeah, the the topper and the the Amity Harvester were done by uh, Justin Gilbertson in 19. I just converted them. So I didn't make the model, I just brought it into 22 from 19. And with the drama that's around mods, I dare not try to release it to anybody because the backlash isn't worth it. That'd be nice to be able to just to give give people the things I convert because they're error free and they work really well but uh, the amount of backlash I've seen people get for doing that lately uh, mm -mm. nope not even gonna go down that rabbit hole That's a wall. That's a wall. Oh, come on here. I parked it too close to the wall. So when I turn, the wheel goes into the wall. There we go. <laughs> I think it just fits through the door. <laughs> I don't think I should put it in that shed anymore. No. That's all. I love the end cab beeps. And a combine? Mm -hmm. 50% and the 80%. Oh, yeah. It just fits it's nothing the 80%, more. The 80% automatically turned on the, the uh, beacons for you like they do in real life. Well, I think the new one does. The JHG version one. I think that does now. There's, there's a mod for that, too. Yes. Yeah, combine add on. Yeah, I have that one. Uh, no Earth. Um, still, it is the same map I was on when I started when you asked the question the first time around. So, no. You cannot. This is not a cross-play server. This is a private server. Or private game, I should say. It's not really on a server. Oh, tree! <gasps> I don't know how I missed that tree, but I did. And then are you cutting across to get that row? Yeah, I guess I will. Back up here. Way, um, there's a very fun. I think Phil fell asleep. Did he? I'm still there. Are you still, you still there? He's, he's yeah. eating lunch and sleeping or something. 
but I'm just be I'm just waiting to be filled up. <laughs> There's a tree there, oh. Wolf. Yeah, there is a tree there. I'm all clobbered that tree. How much do those trailers hold, Phil? Sixty thousand. Or just over sixty thousand. Okay. I've I've only got about thirty three thousand. Yeah. I know that, but I think I hold more than what these can. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. But Jamin's really slow at harvesting, so No, I it's just like... harvest like I harvest in real life. He's driving down the field now without cutting anything. I think he's I don't know what he's doing. I'll go down here and I'll float in the field and then I'm gonna whip back around and start heading back the other way. This angle is going to be a bugger because I won't be able to set the uh, hired helper to do it. I have to do this manually until I get this uh, side opened. Unless Phil's not busy, he can drive a truck for me and load me. Load real quick. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was just about to say. I'll okay. Try to go yeah, both she... years for both teams. Yeah, I just need somebody to help fill it up. I can haul it. Yeah. when it's full sweat. Yeah, I'll let you know. Thank you. escaped the George of the Jungle. <laughs> That's hilarious, Wolf. You're half full, Phil. Yeah. Don't feel that, yeah. <laughs> Look out for that tree! <laughs> George, George, George out the jungle. <laughs> I've not heard that for years. Right? Is it still in the red? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're in the orange. So I should be able to make it down here, Phil, and then I'll turn around and come back this yeah. way. So you can get yourself lined up. Hopefully a car don't take me out when I turn around on the road. Yeah. That's always a possibility. None coming that way right now. Oh, there's one coming this way. We'll let him go by, then we'll swing out. Mm. Eat you off so we don't snap that in half. Making an aggressive turn. I gotta try and find the beats now. That's the hard part. When you're looking at the yeah, wrong you way, you barely see him going the one direction. Hard when you're going crossways like this to pick up the rows. All right, Phil, I'm gonna spin around and get underneath the elevator there, and we'll mosey along. What speed does that go? What's that? What the twist on? I was gonna say we could use two combiners on this right now. Six.
Oh, hang on, I'll let that go through, Wolf. It's late night. That's okay. Oh, almost made it. I'll back down to this end and then I'll hop over and then we'll go up down the edge here. I backed up a few times already. <laughs> Back up just a hair and let me in here. Yep, thank you. I don't quite have enough top, but that's okay. Give me enough to open it up at least. <coughs> yeah, I understand, Wolf. No worries. Yes, it would have been very bad. Oh, this thing is useless. <laughs> it's it's tricky. It it's very close driving when you do a harvesting like this. It's it's not easy. There you got her straightened One out, minute. I think. One minute the Steven reacts perfectly, and then next minute it doesn't. Yep. You know what this map's going to be perfect for? What's that? GPS angles. Oh, yeah. On some long runs, whether you're plowing or cultivating, or harvesting grains, set that angle right on. thrown off by a real shame. Hello. Sorry, I went in cab view. Couldn't see the beat rows. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay now. It's a little jerky on my end, though. It's a little jerky on mine. 
beef jerky. Yeah, got, got a bag up, Phil. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna slide my rear end over a little bit and then just get up underneath the elevator. Yep, perfect. Fair beef jerky is Monster Slim Jim. <laughs> You're getting pretty close to that little bump out, aren't we, Swiss? Huh? Yeah, where I left off and went, took care of that little patch. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I think you've passed it. Really? Think so. I think I go way way down low I can see the beats. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Phil. I was just gonna tell you. Yeah. The look didn't bring me any map. It's nice and say you were down to I had a fight I had a feeling that I could think. Yeah. Look down this field, it looks so long. One lonely compactor. to keep up with two of them though because it's a long pass it might because I could at least get to which person wants and then don't get into a trailer Uh, that man, Chuck. Yes, this map will be a council map if, well, Ultimate Giants has the final say on it, but I will be pursuing an all-platform on this map. This should fill my truck up, Phil. Yeah. jump down there and buy that piler. Yeah. Sixty two thousand one hundred and ninety seven volts. Swiss. Sixty two thousand? Yeah. I bought the piler that's straight in from the drive. Uh, okay. So when you're coming in, it'd be the right side piler, not the left side. That's the one I own. Yep. Oh, 
Let's get the tear down. Yep, bring tail dirt, tear dirt back. I tell you, Mopi. Starting a traffic jam, yeah. Traffic are relentless. I, they're, they're, traffic is crazy on this map. A lot of them. Yeah. Yes. If you have, if you have a say, stay, stay there. You mop it. I'm talking about the traffic. <laughs> You're not talking to me. <laughs> no. Thought you were talking to me all this time. <laughs> Yeah, in real life, those cars should have just jumped over in the other lane and went around you. Yeah, exactly. And did it like at 60 mile an hour, too. What the fuck? I'm dead. That's all good. Now, by that point. Yeah, traffic's bad enough the game as it is. <clears throat> Heck like water's none, yes. Yep. Oh, I'm missing a whole row.
Oh, this is where you moved over to cut that piece, Jetman. <laughs> Most as AI workers, yeah. It's been a while since I har did har beat harvest this way. It's been a, quite a long while. That was my row of shame right there. That's more. I'm going to get harvested tonight, so I don't need to top no more than that. I think it's your second row of shame now. Yeah, they're getting after it. Fields are just massive. Good lord. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? Goes back. can't actually make one full pass though without filling up oh can you yeah I think I probably could it's... yields not that great no not at bill not that great at all. <laughs> back to beats yeah just a little bit <clears throat> I just want to get this field opened up If it was fully fertilized, lined, and everything, it'd be a different story. <laughs> that's true, Wolf. That's true. That is true. back in a second. Yes, yes, United, the AI planted this crop here. At least I do it in good humor, though. Yes, very true, Wolf. There's a right way and a wrong way in. Yeah.
probably fill that truck up one more time, you know, and we'll have a, enough of this opened up then. Neil Slip, what is a map? Uh, a map is what we can play on in, in the game. Or it's a tool to f find your way around the world. I refuse to be someone I'm not. That's why a whole lot of streamer people in general are on here. <laughs> yeah. Right? Got to be true to yourself. Well, didn't make it. You try going down and back? I tried going one full pass of this little section we're on. And <laughs> you didn't make it? Didn't make it. <laughs> Got about uh, two thirds of the way. This be a nice little hay field. I'm not going to make it to the end. Talking nabbit. I was hoping it'd be, I'd be able to make it, but not going to make it. Phil. Phil. I need a truck. <laughs> need a truck. I need it. Almost made it. <coughs> Okay, so. Yeah. Hey, I'll no rest. No rush. No rush. I've, yeah. I've an empty cart. Can we finally fill up the truck? 
Is that our second one? That's the second. Probably just sit and wait for me about where I left off out there. Ninety-seven percent. That's full enough. Okay. Weather, horrible, terrible weather today. Twenty, negative twenty-seven. Oh, that's cold. I hope that's Celsius. Live in the north where it snows. Oop, that's a car. 
Stay away from the lines. Yeah, traffic does not like it when you're too close to the line. Yeah, they don't like it when you hit them either. Map's going good, Southern Trucker. I got a little bit of beets harvested out, which I got enough now that that's kind of opened up. And I think maybe I'll go do some soybeans here real quick just to see how that works. Then I'll come back over and jump over and help him get corn, get another corn head. But I gotta get rid of my tear dirt first. Of course, I could just dump it in this field. That sounds like a plan. Thanks, Mike.
feel shame, shame. <laughs> Any changes since last week? Mm. No, not really. Just finished it, finalized it, and got the uh, everything I needed in it. And did it in, in into it. Oh, did they plant alfalfa in this field? No, it looks like wheat. Barley. That's a big barley field. They can have that. No, thank you. <laughs> that field can... <laughs> that field can stay AI-owned. <laughs> I don't need a hundred acres of barley. No thanks. How much you know many barrels you can off it? Oh jeez. Uh, yeah. That'd be a crap ton of bales. Yeah. Who would do such a thing? Is that Velcron? Yes, Velcron. Yes. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome to your viewers. See how soy soybeans work. It should harvest. I mean, all the crops should work like they're supposed to. I have to use the AI here, or AI field here for a minute. I think that's harvested, anyways. Looks harvested. I have somewhere to put my header at. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, we will use this driveway. If I can get it in here without putting her in the ditch. Oh, this is going to get sketchy. Oh. Oof.
Can you see the size of the fields? Sure, treetop. There you go. Is that is that good? Or do you want to see like numbers? <laughs> or maybe this? Does that work? Yeah, that was very close. Well, that was close. That's about as close as it gets. That's what makes this map fun. Those those little itty bitty challenges like that. Where do I put my trailer at? How do I get across this ditch? Or that's what makes it fun. That auger wagon driver with the hitch on the auger wagon pulling your header cart for you. Yeah. Pick up. Oh, let's try so something. Life, about a mile long pass here. Uh, yeah, it's about a mile, roughly. We're gonna try something, so look out for lag. I'm not sure this is gonna work because of that one corner. It's a really tight corner for the truck, but we'll see. Fasten your seat belts, because it could get choppy. Uh, helper, create, go to, location. There. Start. And I'll just keep combine and see if it shows up. Found the road, so that's the first battle. If you can make that corner, we'll be, we'll be alright. Can't make that corner then. Or we'll be. We won't have a truck. <laughs> It'll be in the ditch probably. But he does the short, short turn instead of the. Yeah. Wide <laughs> turn. Yeah, he's gonna drag the trailer through the ditch. I guarantee that. Yeah. We always do that. Oh, he's set on slow speed, too. I gotta change that. Yeah, his cruise control is set way down a bit. Yeah. It's like he's barely moving. Now he's moving. Funny thing is that I'm so far away, I wouldn't even see him pull into the field. I won't see him until I come back that direction. <laughs> So there, there's a good view of the soybean field, free tap. It's actually two fields right here. They're kind of buttoned to each other, but the one field goes from that that road there all the way over to that there, and then that other one comes from the north road down about three quarters of the way. Oh, he made it. Hot dang. <laughs> he made the corner. Exactly, Wolf. Makes people have to think how they need to access the field or the in and out. That is very true. Oh, I'm at 50%. I better stop. Otherwise, I'm never going to get back around again. 
How close they get to the end? Oh, that's close enough. We'll run it. We'll just take a half a half a header on the way back. Finish off this little chunk, I'm gonna call it a night. Nope. Oh, somebody must be driving that truck, because there's no way it's driving itself. Okay. Phil's driving it. Like, <laughs> there's no way that truck's driving down here all of a sudden. I should make it to the end now, Phil. Yeah. Want to take the truck to that other end, and I should be good. I'll probably, yeah. probably gonna call it on that year soon too. It's I didn't realize it was one o'clock already. Babies. <laughs> It's bedtime is right after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and it eats at three. The man can't keep up with the pace. I don't even get off work till three thirty. Oh, then you get home and eat. You're in bed by four thirty. <laughs> Not in bed, but napping on the couch, definitely. 3.30, that's an early, early finish for me. Well, I start at 5.30. So, it's a 10 hour day. It's actually about a 12 hour day by the time you figure in drive time and all that stuff, so. Yeah. It is nice. I get home early enough to. I have a. If I have an errand to run or something, run into town to take care of something, I can do that. Or. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, thanks. Hey, wait a second. You can't get through there. Oh, I can't. I'm sure I could, but... <laughs> Push it through. I don't think I want to try.
Looks like we will raid uh, Rab D Titan again tonight. Cause he's streaming still. When I get my combine down here, I'll get that set up. Cause this guy's gotta go to bed. I kind of gone crazy with buying almost the whole map of Rankamos. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Wolf. Where's <laughs> there? Ooh. Oh, jam in. I forgot your insure containers in this cab. <laughs> My what? Sure. <laughs> it's a drink for old people. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Whatever you say. Brian got it. Alright, chat. I'm gonna call it a night. Let me set up a raid here to Rob. <laughs> and, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope, uh, you guys got a good look at how this new map is going to play and all the ins and outs at least about it. Um, Thursday nights are probably going to be streaming. We'll be streaming on this map and further testing and stuff like that on it. Um, it's hard to type and talk at the same time because I keep typing the words I'm talking. Way too late. She went to bed a while ago. But for the field, you owner sugar beets. Nice, love sugar beets. And the money makers. Let's see here. Rob D. Hopefully that's spelled right. If not, we're gonna find out who that would be then. <laughs> Are you working? Yeah, it like looks like that works. In the morning. Yeah, you gotta no, work. I'm not working. Nice, nice. You're um, off. Right? Yeah. Anyways, thanks guys, gals, for watching, playing. And uh, next stream will be uh, next week. We'll be back on Michigan doing the Sugar Beets again. Yay. And uh, a lot of people avoid beets. Yeah, I don't either. But, uh, yeah, hope it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed what this new map is going to look like. And uh, you guys have a great evening, great morning, great weekend. Uh, and we will see you next week on Michigan. Have a good night.